Yes, sir. It's your man, Anthony Smith. Welcome to Chop It Up, where we bring in nothing but the hottest breeders on the fucking planet. And today, I got a surprise for y'all, man. It's about to go down in this motherfucker, man. I need y'all to make some noise. We got West, 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 my rich in the building. What's good with you, my boy? Yeah, man, what's going on, man? A whole lot of West, man. man I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Let me come down for the podcast, man. You know we working, man. A whole lot of West, man. It's out you know what's going on. Yeah, man. I had to, I had to get you in here. You know what I mean, my cuz oh let me know he was like man you got to get my boy rich on the show bring him up he's doing big things i'm like man i fuck with rich man pull pull up to the crib man we got to get this thing going the world need to see this yes, sir, you yes, know what i mean yes, sir, yes, sir. it's always good to see another young black man you know what i mean ceo doing yeah. his thing you feel me just like that just like but man that. let's 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 go from the top man let's go from the top how'd you get into this whole exotic bully thing i mean like I had, like I said, I had 10 dogs when I was like nine years old. So like on my mama's side and my daddy's side, it was a dog family. So we always had dogs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like me. Now the back order, then, was it pit bulls? What kind of dogs y'all so had? So my mama had German Shepherds and my daddy had pit bulls. Okay. And right now I got exotic bullies and, yep. German, and German Shepherds. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm a product of what how I was raised. Yeah. Like, yeah. Li- yeah. Literally. Um, um, my daddy had the pits. My mama had the Shepherds. Um, like, you know, like. The older I got, you know, you get to, to that realization point where whatever you do, you, in order for you to keep doing, you got to like to do. Yeah. And like, so naturally, I was a dog nigga, so that was off the dribble. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? So once I start, like, you know. So when I, did you feel like you could take the shit? Because back then, it wasn't really a business to it, or was it? You know no, what I mean? No, we was giving, we were sending dogs for free, giving away dogs. We were sending dogs for 250 we was, right, you know, like, right. We had, we had too many dogs. You know, we didn't have no market for dogs, so we just liked dogs. So yeah, we yeah, have yeah. a litter or have two litters, and it was like, now I got all these dogs, what y'all gonna do? Yeah. You know, we're giving away to people in the hood or, you know, like, family, friends, set them for the low or something. Like, it wasn't nothing major going on. But even then, like, the dogs looked real, real good. Yeah, It yeah, wasn't yeah. like no bullshit. We just was young, and my daddy was fucking with the dogs, and we was cleaning the bathroom. Right. And, um... I got a I got a similar upbringing, you know what I mean? But it didn't turn out as well for me as it did for you, you feel me? Pops yeah. had dogs, you know what I mean? We had Rottweilers growing up and uh he was he was more using them for protection, you know what I mean? He had his little his little business going and he was like, you know what I mean, niggas niggas a uh, I run on, run up on you with a pistol, but that dog come after you, niggas is the, they gonna think again? That you know dog, what I mean? That dog is real. Yeah, that dog yeah, it's real. You and it's it? easy to say what you gonna do, but you gotta really do that shit. Right. All that I'm finna beat, I'm finna choke the dog out. I'm finna beat this dog up. You gotta really do that shit. So <laughs> right. Exactly. And that nigga trying to take your head off because that's all he know. Exactly. And they bred for that. The yeah. German yeah, yeah. And the Mountain Walls and the Rock Rollins, they bred for war. So mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. I got them now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So and how long you been breeding them? I've been breeding my whole life, you know. Okay. Professionally, I was crazy. I, I like, I say like my first professional breeding was like six years ago, and that's like the first breeding I went pro. I say pro, like everything was done to the professional level as far as the AI, the progesterone, the paperwork, the everything from 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 point A to point Z was done like a professional. I feel it. Uh, I say six years ago, and I had ten puppies. After I still got the female too that. That I bred. Yeah, I had ten gotta pu- keep her. I had ten puppies. She gonna die at my, at my house. Like you know, she got a forever home. Like she yeah, ain't going yeah, nowhere. Yeah. She ain't going nowhere. She can't even help me as far as like the style of dogs that make that you crazy. breeding now. Exactly, but she, you know, um, for sure. So uh, I say about six years. I'm about like six years. Six in. years in. I seen the picture, nigga. It was like. Man, I want to say it was 2011. I think the picture when you had the three pups. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I but see. I wasn't. I, I wasn't professional, you know. Yeah, like, you I was still, still in the streets. Was, I was still, you know, I was still fucked up. So, like, that was just some shit, you know. Like, I was at the house, you know. So, like, I wasn't. I wasn't living off dogs. Like, okay. I wasn't. I wasn't making it professional. Like, I wasn't doing my thing. Right, know? right, right. We didn't have to wrap whips. Yeah, you know I mean? nah. it wasn't Westmount. Westmount the way it is now. You nah, know what it's mean? crazy. <laughs> it wasn't Westmont. Honestly, like, it wasn't Westmont exotics. Um, I say into like three years ago. Okay, and I, I'm co CEO of Westmont Exotics. Yeah, uh, co the uh, my other co founder is Kenneth Low Wooten, and that's my that's my twin as far as this dog breeding shit go. We came up together. We kind of we got the same dog breeding IQ, and we share the business as far as like you know. So um, yeah, our, 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 and where's uh, your partner located? My partner located in the middle of Los Angeles. You okay, know what I'm so y'all both from the LA area. Exactly. Okay, you know what I'm saying and um. 
he doing the same thing that I'm doing. Um, he got the same amount of dogs. He doing the same type of thing. We coming up together at yeah. the same time. That's love. Shout out West Mount Exotic Low, man. Man, what's good with you, Low? You gonna have to come in here. I need to get your story. Stop playing. That way, that way, that way. But um, after you, like, what what got that niche going? What got you, you know what I mean? After you did that first breeding six years ago, what really made you feel like you could take this shit to the next level and take over? Like, financially, it got me off the street. You know? Okay. Like, I was on bullshit, you know? Yeah. So, like, it like it opened, my, it, it opened some, some other doors up that, like, wasn't open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like... Now, did you know what you was doing because of your past with the dogs? Like, because it's a completely different... You know what I mean? Like, when you say professionally... Right? Go ahead. I feel like, not to stop what you're saying, but I feel like, for me, doing my first breeding, I had more information than anybody could have. Doing their first breeding, I didn't see I didn't see fifty litters go good and fifty litters go bad before I did my first litter. Yeah. So when yep. I did my first breeding, like I knew what to do. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He I was already on. He was already on. Yeah, and uh, shout out, uh, shout out Anthony Gilmore. Shout out Face. He was he 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 was the main. He was his yard was the main yard I was in around that time. So a lot of the wins and losses I learned from what what he won off and what he lost off. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So and what was the uh, stud he had? What what stud was he rocking with back then? It's crazy, right? That was like six seven years ago. Back then he had like he had a Miyagi son named Mufasa. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a son off him named Big Face. It was a freaky exotic motherfucker when exotic start like when they start when really they start going popping. crazy. And um he had a gang of shit, bro. I had like twenty dogs and he stayed in my section. He stayed where you know, he stayed out where I was raised at. So it was like it was like a, a home away from home, like to get right. out the street and come fuck with the dogs, you know? Yeah. So it was kinda Was like, that one of the first real niggas that you seen that was kinda getting it just straight off the dogs? Bo had a Bentley off the dogs, Ooh, you know? Okay. Bo had paid off Bentley off the dogs. I at that point, like Everybody that I seen that had a lot of money was either like around me was either like doing a gang of bullshit or it's like some moves, you know, like some are you yeah, a yeah, yeah. Some, you know? yeah. Like niggas ain't really have money, niggas robbing and doing weird shit. Like not me personally, but that's what you. That's saying. what was going on. That's yeah, what's man. going on outside. Yeah. So like the people that the city, had a lot nigga? of the people that had a lot of money was doing bullshit. Like he is the only person I seen that had a lot of money that was doing some of the gym. I right. say that you right. know what I'm saying. And being a young nigga, he just took you under his wing and you was you know low key. Right there in the same neighborhood. Exactly. He he was in my section. It was I was a dog dude, and I sold him a dog. So make a long story short, we had like a spot in and I, we had like a spot in our you know in our location in our hood, and it had got closed down on. We mm -hmm. had a, a female in the back name, and it, it's crazy. Her name was Sheba. She was like a reverse brindle. And make a long story short, we had to get about the spot, you know, with all that. And I I walked the female down on like a cable cord, like the 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 cord that you go from the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The house to the to the cable box. Yeah. That was her lease. Cause like the spot just had got broke up and whatever what the case may be. I sold her to to the to, to the man that taught me like really how to get cracking with the exotic shits. I sold her to him for thirty dollars. Word for thirty dollars. I was walking down the street and she had nowhere to go. My daddy like, man, you got you got too many dogs. You ain't finna just keep bringing dogs from the street over here. Right. <laughs> and, you know, I, I bought him over there and I sold her for to him for thirty dollars. And that's the nigga that really taught me how to get cracked. And shout out uh, Anthony Gilmore and Tony Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take me a little bit further in the game. Yeah, you know I mean after after it's, it's it's once that Westmount come in. Once I mean once you hooked up with your partner, y'all really felt like y'all was gonna take this shit to the next level. Uh, started branding the brand, getting the name out there. That's when the rest started. That's when it's like, all right, if, if you're going to do something, it's like, either you're going to do a honey or you ain't going to do it at all. That's when it was like, sell everything, fuck jewelry, fuck looking good, fuck spending money on Jordans, fuck cars. Yeah. Every dollar we get that we're not using on rent, food, and like, you know, like yeah, it's going essentials, straight to the dogs. Yeah. going to the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it went like that, like for like the last three years, like, like, been going no hard. cap and no cap like I could be in a Maybach right now. Like nigga, I, I, I could I could drive what I want. You feel me? Like nigga, I see you, nigga. You feel yeah, me? <laughs> like stop playing with my boy Rich, man. He's trying to put y'all young boys up on game, man. Y'all better listen, pay attention to this, man. Yeah, like I could, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just really just said, like, fuck trying to look good and let's invest into the shit that we know, which right. is the dogs. You know what I'm saying? So you might see me sell a whole litter and go spend that money on one dog, two dogs, two yeah, dogs. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it took it 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 took the maturity of the man for me to just not try to have nice things, you know? Right. Like not try to, like, you know, like... Not stay up with what's going on, you know what I mean? Exactly. You're in the and, like, and reinvesting the money into my 
into my business instead of spending it on myself. You know yeah. how, you know, if you really ain't never had too much and you get some money, like, it's so much that you can want to do. Yeah. You can want this, you can want that. And it's like, that ain't, buying that shit ain't got you nowhere. Like, the shit that got you somewhere was the shit you was doing. So it's right. like, like, getting to that point where I feel comfortable to go on without, like, I'm not into the world, whatever the world going on right now. Like, I'm into these dogs. I don't give a fuck what, what's going on in the world, what's cool, what's not. I'm into these dogs. When yeah. it got like that, it was over with. Right, right, right. Like, right now, it's like that. It's over yeah. And I still got shit. So, like, you know it's <laughs> over with now. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel it. I feel it. So, when you got into this uh, exotic game, what, what, were, what look were you going for? You know what I mean? Was you trying to automatically create something? Was you following a trend? What was you, what was you and your partner? You know what I mean? What was y'all feeling? What was y'all on? Honestly, like, like, I never wanted to lose the pit and the dog. It's as far as the mindset mostly, but as far as the prettiness, you're like, I don't like ugly dogs. You feel right. me? So like, a dog when you breed a dog and it's too freaky and the motherfucker stop, it start losing its like appeal. Right. So I wanted to keep. I I don't want to sacrifice nothing, bro. I like when I wanted like a fake dog. I didn't yeah, want to yeah, sacrifice yeah, yeah, structure yeah. for color, and I didn't want to sacrifice color for structure. Right. I wanted. Both. You wanted it all. I wanted both, and in order to get both, it take a whole lot of money. Yeah. So it was like, how are you gonna get this money? Right. You feel me? Right, right, right. Then it was like, like for West Mine specifically is a sport for dog breeding camp. So like, if you breeding dogs as a hobby on the side, West Mine wasn't for you. So mm -hmm. once me and my man's like made up, like we was gonna do this shit, like like our life depended on it. Yeah. So it was like whoever we would allow to be a part of it had to do it like. Similar the way y'all was doing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, they had to be all so like, 10 toes in, nigga. Stop playing. When you see us buying dogs and you see us going crazy like how we doing it, it ain't even because, like, we live like this, fool. Like, it ain't, like we not, it's nothing going on on the side. Like, it's no, it ain't nothing going on on the side. I'm right. not, I don't do nothing. Yeah. I don't have time to do nothing. I got, I got over 40 dogs. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. have time to do nothing. So, when a motherfucker see niggas buying dogs and all this, like, this is how you have to do it if you're going to do this shit, like. Like, my kids' life depend on this shit. Yeah. Like, they college depend on this shit. Yeah. Like, you feel me? So, that's why it's being done on that type of level because, like, this is like a sport to us. Like, if you a hobby breeder and you just want to fuck around, like, Westmont not for you. Like, Westmont. If we charge 20K for a franchise also, so it's like, like you know, you're going to have to you gonna have to pay the play. I seen that. I seen that NYC joint. You know what I mean? I seen y'all expanding. I'm, I'm, We're going to get yeah. there. We're going to get there. Niggas, yeah. you know what I mean? But I didn't, for me, I didn't know... Yeah. What was going on in the dog world? I was I was all the way out of the shit. I was just a nigga with a camera. You know what I mean? Right, and then right, right. luckily my barber hooked me up with George. Nigga, and it's been history since then. You I, know see, what I, mean? I see, I see, I see. It's been passport and it's stamped crazy, up. Like, you know what I mean? I, it's crazy like how the world works because like me, I, I got kept close with your with your with your family yeah, like, yeah, for the yeah. last two years, but like how you lined up and all that lined up, like the world work in a crazy way. Like right. it was supposed to happen like it do. That. It do. You know what I'm saying? And my pops, because Opposite of what you did, you know what I mean? I didn't go back in and, and keep fucking with the dogs like that. So it came full circle to me because my dad has always loved dogs, and I didn't really care for him because, you know what I mean, I was doing the same shit you was doing, picking yeah. up dog shit, you know what I mean, not really giving giving a fuck about the dogs or whatnot on my end, you know what I mean? Right. And then to see it come full circle, like get sucked back into the dog world is, is crazy. crazy. man. That shit yeah. mania. That's crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy as fuck. So. That's crazy. I can understand your story too, breaking it down, because like me, I got... Eight brothers and sisters on my daddy's side. Okay. So, like, out of eight brothers and sisters, like, five of them not with cleaning up no dog shit. I'd probably say six of them, really. Like, ain't with doing none of that type of shit. So, yeah. like, I was probably one of the only, I was the only one that picked it up, picked it up. But it's, it's like I got a brother, too, that ain't against it. And even the brother I got that's all the way, like, against, like, really cleaning the shit, he's still investing into it. So, right. So, he knows live for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, was it back then that, that he was ready to invest or after he started seeing what bro was doing that he was like, ah, I got to, you know what I mean? I got to get back in. It was like, I'm big bro. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if, even if my one of my other brothers has something legitimate to invest into that can help all of us get some money, I'm going to do it too. Let's go. So, I think that's what it was. It, yeah. was. it was primarily predicated on it being legitimate. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what young brothers black, you know what I'm saying? But that's what we need. So yeah, 100%. It was, it was that. Got to put, I mean, we got to lift each other up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Support too. Also so, so yeah. Shout out West Monazotic Flame. That's my brother that invested into the dogs. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Shout out Brown. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So after you had that, uh, man, I heard a, a crazy story about like a, a delivery in a car. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. That's your story. I want you to tell it. But you know what I mean? Like your first couple litters, like 
That first litter came. How how'd that shit happen? My first litter came. I was fucked up. Like I was in the street. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I really didn't have a place to walk puppies. It was like, all right, nigga. You know, like I ain't had no spot that was my own. So I really didn't have no spot that I could really walk puppies. You know what I'm saying? And like my stepmom at the time stayed in like Lancaster, mm -hmm. and like she wasn't even supposed to have dogs at her house like that to like to even really let me walk puppies over there. So like you know what I'm saying, just like fucking around with different females at the time, like. I just end up whooping my litter in the back of the car on the east side on Florence and Compton and the um and the F thirteens. Like that's how I, I came up. I was I was whooping the litter right there. I had ten puppies, you feel me? Yeah. Like my female had ten puppies. It's crazy, right? Like I sold every puppy in the litter for twelve hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I kept the first big female, the chocolate tri female. They offered me ten K for the bitch. I said no. But everybody around me calling me crazy, like, yeah, nigga, how you, you not gonna take that ten got bands? No spot. How you not gonna take ten yeah. bands for this dog? I'm like, but nigga, this, this the is dog. It. Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. This, this, this what I did for. You know what you was looking for. Make a long story short, I kept the bitch until until she turned ten months. I sold her to China. I took thirty two thousand for it. <sighs> At thirty two thousand, you feel me? Nigga, got me focused. Yeah, <laughs> and still to this day, still to this day, thirty two k is the most I sold a dog for. And okay. that was six years ago. That was my first breeding. Damn. My first pro breeding. That's the first time I really like everything was papered up. Everything was uh yeah, I spent all my money, I ain't had no help doing it. My daddy wasn't helping me. Like it wasn't it, it was wasn't, all you. It wasn't none of his dogs. Yeah. That was the first time it was my shit. You right. feel me? And I'm I probably made like over 40 my first litter. Because yeah. I sold it was not 10 puppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got sold for what in between like six hundred to fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. But that last first pick female, I kept her, I ended up selling her for thirty two thousand. Damn, my nigga, that's wild as fuck. You know what I mean, that's that's what's up, and it's crazy that you could you could hang on to a dog that long and know what she was worth. You know what I mean? But you knew what you was doing, you knew what you was getting yourself into. So it was like I gotta hold out. You know what right, I mean? Right, At right, that right. time, niggas was selling dogs for for crazy bread, especially to China, because China was going crazy then. China was going crazy, but it's like I wasn't in that mix shit. Like I wasn't a, I wasn't a nigga in the dog game, like to even receive that. Publicity to even get some of their money. Yeah, like the dog looked at that good. Okay. I posted the dog on That's at that time it wasn't American Exotics. Like on Facebook right now, it's like uh, it was Amer it's American Exotics right now. But back then it was Texas Exotics on Facebook. That was the main that was the main board. And I posted the bitch on Texas Exotics. The bitch went mainly like the bitch had like a thousand views, like three four hundred <laughs> comments. That it was bidding for it. That's yeah. why I got yeah, a yeah, high yeah. number, which was thirty two. Shout out my man's in them uh, West Mount Exotic Guam. Uh, that was my original business partner, like, to help me get started. He ended up buying, like, my first couple dogs for me. He he ended up buying that dog and resold the dog. And he, if he, I say Westmont is out of Guam. His name Josh. He a mm -hmm. firefighter in, in, in Guam. Okay. Me and him never met. We probably made over $50,000 right. We never met, though. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? That, it's funny the way the dog world worked, though. That's my man's, bro. Yeah. Like, it, like, you know what I'm saying? To be so, that close to a nigga that you never really touch hands with, you know what I mean? Without but, him. But getting bread. Like without him, like shit wouldn't have been how it was been. And I want to give a shout out to West Mines out of Guam, which is Josh, and uh, he's a firefighter in Guam. And um, I'm gonna send him a Michael Mary puppy real soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm yeah, gonna send yeah. Him a Michael Mary puppy real soon. Like I don't like like I ain't me and him just like he really helped me establish. We make a long story short. At the time in Guam, they couldn't breed dogs like how we breed dogs. And there's okay. no vets for reproduction centers, no progesterone tests, no surgical, none of that shit. So if whatever dogs with them there wouldn't happen naturally on Guam, yeah, you know what I'm saying? What the breeds them there wouldn't go down. Okay. So Josh, you know what I'm saying? He sent me a do I think he sent me two dogs. Uh and that shit was after I sold the bitch and he helped me get started. I mean, I, I had like I was up like 30, 40, and he just sent me two grown bitches like Josh really like helped me jump start the game too. Like I definitely had some blessings in the dog game to get me where I'm at. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? For sure. Shit so, was like, lining up. God working. But niggas knew way. that you were serious. You know what I mean? You was all about it. Right, right, you right. knew what the fuck was going on. You know what I mean? You was you was all the way in there the way you supposed to be because there's so many niggas that come into the game and it's it's niggas that be in my DM that, that don't be serious. You know what I mean? You can you can hit a man, but it's like if you're not ready to receive what what got to come with that, then you shouldn't even be sending them DMs. You right, know what I right, mean? Right, 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 right. Because it, it's levels to the shit. You know what I mean? There's other camera niggas is out there. Y'all can y'all could go wherever y'all got to go. You know what I mean? It's, it's prices right. that come along with this shit and fucking with George for so long, nigga, that's like... A brother to me, you know what I mean, and it's right. weird. You, you know? locked in, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's you locked it, in. It's it's funny to me the way that me and George get down, man, because that's really family to me. You know what right. I mean? And he done helped me on on all different kinds of levels, and it's like, nigga, I be 
niggas be like, oh, you bending over backwards for this nigga and whoopty whoop. And I'm like, nah, nigga, y'all don't even know. You know what I mean? It, it's it's the unspeakable between me and this nigga. This nigga done helped me with way more than family done did. You know what I mean? And, and not even said nothing, just here. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't even asking for nothing. Just, you know, here, nigga, let's go. You on the, you on the squad, nigga, and this is how we rock. Bro, definitely changed the game, like, as far as the bullies, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I give them that. And, like, even when I was coming up, and even still now, like, there's no higher pinnacle than George. Yeah. Like, so a nigga look up to that nigga motivated by that. If I was an NBA player, that's, that's Michael Jordan. And it's crazy, like, in the last six months, I didn't sit my cat and gave, and gave George, like, 30, over 30. You feel me? Damn. There's some stuffies, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely would salute everybody that's working on that caliber, which is the highest caliber, you know what I'm saying? So, uh... You know what I'm saying Joe's always been cool. The business always been cool. You know what I'm saying we do good business together. You know what I'm saying. And, you know what I'm saying I'm, it's a blessing to be able to receive the the genetics when I need them. You know. What yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta run with that. You gotta run with that. But you got your own thing going, man. You got you got some crazy freaky shit yourself. You know what I mean? Is that, uh, so like Westmont, like you know, like we stand for like we have no ego, no pride. Yeah. So like a lot of dogs in this dog game, like a lot of people like don't go to other people and buy dogs and they buy, don't buy these dogs. I feel like we have, I feel like West Montezatis, I really could say it's like we have the most variety of dogs. Okay. A lot of niggas, I noticed like these these dudes, they buy this type of dog, these type of dudes. Like we got the best of the best. I don't yeah. give a fuck. We, had, we ain't looked at no personal issue between the person and the bottom. We want all the best dogs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to every camp that got the best of the best and mix it with the best of our version, and you know what I'm saying we create. And um, George was a part of that. You know what I'm saying we, we, you know, so we purchased some genetics from George. We purchased some genetics from Estag. We purchased some genetics from Sacramento exclusives. Purchased, purchased some genetics from a little bit of everybody that has top top quality. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And mix it with what we felt was the best version of all West Mine Exotics. And I feel like the game is lacking. The game is lacking that. Like a lot of people. A lot of people don't use other people's bloods, and it's like not necessarily because the dog is not worthy, just because, just because it felt like they submitting to him. Right, blood, but right. This is business, it's personal. It's not good for this at all. Right. So I feel like Westmont. Uh, you gotta like know what your you gotta know what your bitch need. You know what I mean? And if you ain't got a stud that could get at, you gotta go to where it's at. Exactly. I feel like that's what Westmont is best at. That we have every blood in the yard that's that we need to create. Mm-hmm. 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 Who's uh? Give me one of your studs. What's your hottest stud right now? You know what I mean, crazy, I, so. I, I I got them right here, but you know what I mean. Go well, ahead. That's my exotics. We have variety, so a lot of camps like have one type of dog. Yeah, we breed Frenchies, exotic bulldogs, and exotic bullies. Exotic bullies probably come first. Yeah, bulldogs come second, and Frenchies will come third on the list. We have everything. It's a one stop shop. As far as the um, exotic bullies go, our French, I mean, our stud is Evizu. Okay. As far as uh, English crazy. bulldogs, it's Mike and Mary. Uh, uh, we had two bully stars. The other bully star was Matt River. Um, he's he's deceased. Uh, the dog is crazy, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like the dog was ten years before his time. Maybe I'm over exaggerating because his mind. But I'm gonna say just like really realistically, he was five years. He was five years before his time. I don't give a fuck who seen him. He was five years behind his time. I, I lost him to a freak accident, and uh, I probably learned more off him dying than I did the whole. Mile. Happening. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm um I'm grateful for the, for a blessing. I'm not even mad about it. It just happened how it's happened. It was it was, it was part of the testimony. I guess it's part of my story. Right. Um you gonna have, you're gonna take some losses no matter what, you know what I mean? And it and uh, it's man, you I, know what I mean I, I remember I remember uh this nigga George had a dog, blue cheese. This nigga was I was trying to lock nigga. into the dog. Oh Crazy, my God, I was trying to lock. I was trying to lock into the little nigga. I, I pulled up, and I remember <laughs> the day the nigga was born. He pulled him out, and he's like, "Nigga, this nigga is it, nigga. There's nothing else. This is it right here, bro. This is it. You know yeah. what I mean?" And at the time, George was looking for another stud. You know what I mean? And that was that yeah. was who it was. And Blue Cheese, man, it. It wasn't a freak accident, you know. It's just like you said, the boy was too freaky. You know what I mean? He and and it might. It was before he was before his time, like you was just saying, you right, know. Right, right, and right, that right. was one dog that I could say to you know compliment what you was saying with your story is shit happens. You know what I mean? And that was one time that I had to had to look at George. You know what I mean? Like the biggest dog breeder in the world, one of the biggest dog breeders in the world. You know what I mean? And like see the way that he bounced back from the shit. Like nigga, the shit happens. 
You know what I mean? It's 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 a part of the shit. You got to be able to. You gonna take these wins, nigga? But you got to be able to take these L's. It's crazy, right? Because I moved so fast that I never got to mourn my young nigga. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Throughout, like it's crazy. Like I bought Mike and Mary like two three days before I lost Mike before I lost Matt River. So it's fucked up. Like I got so many thoughts in my head about that. Like I was trying to do some other nails and I already had this. I. I I could tell you a million things about what I think about that, but I move so fast, just quite naturally. Right. Like, I ain't had time to more, mourn about the dog. Right. But, like, no cap. Like, to be honest, I cried about that dog. Like, like, like if something happened to your brother, like your twin. Right, 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 like, right. Like, like, you ain't going to believe it. Like, you feel me? Uh, yeah. A nigga's a, a nigga's a loke. You feel me? That's how I treat myself. That's how I feel like. You feel, I feel like I'm a king. You feel yeah. me? I cried about that dog, like. Like my baby mama like and you see me crying about that dog. Like yeah. I, like like something happened to Fuck my brother. Or like or yeah. something happened to my kid or something. So Yeah. I knew yeah. it was I knew it was bad when I pulled up and I'm like, I ain't never seen this nigga down before, man. What's going on? Yeah. You know what I mean? And just yeah, to yeah. see a nigga sick, but like y'all niggas y'all y'all real breeders that bounce back nigga is is unbelievable. You yeah, know what I mean? Like you said, like y'all ain't even got time. It's just so much shit in motion and so much shit that's going here and there. You ain't even got time to really to mourn. And I want to shout out everybody that got some of my river genetics. It was so, the process was so sick to make the dog for the, the people that was, the few people that was blessed and the few people that is blessed still to receive those genetics. I want to shout y'all out because that, like, that, like, that shit took me some time for it. That shit took some, that shit took some information. That shit took some losses for me to figure out how to make some shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and um, the dog... The dog been dead like seven seven months, and okay. it still ain't nothing fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So you th you feel like you could redo him? You could recreate? For sure, for sure. But I, honestly, like if I see him again, I ain't gonna keep him. I'm gonna sell him. Okay. Like if I see, him, only way I'm gonna keep that dog if he's better than himself. You know okay. Me? Like I sell murals all the time. Motherfuckers be asking me like, "Damn, bro, you don't have no mad river puppies." Like, how you sell them dogs? Like, I have to. I produce that dog to keep him. Yeah, you know I mean, like I didn't make I didn't make him chasing nothing. I yeah. made him be myself. Now was and you not, getting any crazy offers from that river? I didn't, I got turned down like a hundred. I didn't turn down eighty. I didn't turn down like seventy for a co on and like Talk to some him. crazy shit. I didn't turn down a hundred multiple times in seven anywhere between eighty to one fifteen. I didn't turn down multiple times. Yeah. Um, and even at that time, it was life changing money. Right, like, right, yeah, right. A hundred, it was cool. You could yeah. buy you could buy two houses with yeah. that. Be smart. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't worth it, you feel me? Cause it's like, did that, did that, did Mad River take you back to that first bitch that you got off your first breeding? Like the way when when you got offered that ten and they was kind of lowballing you for, and you was like you held off until you got the thirty two. Did you have that same feeling? No, about I would have never sold them. You would have never sold them. It was them. sentimental and it was business. Like, okay, the other bitch was like, it was business because like I couldn't afford to turn down that much money. Yeah. Even if I wanted to turn down the money, I swear to God, I saw my daughter, I saw my son. I, I was in. I Talk drove. To him. I drove to Vegas when it should happen. I was in the Aliante Casino. I was in a BMW. I was with my baby mama right there. We ain't had no kids. I called my daddy. I called my daddy. I started crying. I, I started crying. I said I saw my bitch. She like what? Like why you crying? Like I'm saw my bitch. Yeah. Like it was so much money that I, I couldn't deny it. But I didn't want to set it up. Yeah. Like, talking about it right now is fucking me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, swear yeah, to yeah. God, bro. That shit yeah. turned me up talking about it. I didn't want to sell a dog, but I wasn't financially stable enough to turn down that much money. Right, right. Even so, after I sold her, like, it take time to get you from a dog from the United States to China. It take mm -hmm. time. So, like, I paid somebody to take care of her until she got sent out to China because I didn't want to look at her no more. Damn. Like, I didn't want to look at the bitch no more. I Damn. was sick, bro. <laughs> and they didn't get the dog till four months after they bought her. They didn't know my name, number, no nothing. I put up in High Sienna Got Heights. I, at the time, the Chinese had somebody in High Sienna Got Heights with a whole lot of money. It was a, They had some people over there that everybody that was sending dogs from China was putting up over there. Right. And I put over there, and I got it. Like, they said, make a long story short, like, I could have did whatever the fuck. They didn't even know who I was when they sent me that money. Yeah, I met, I still did good business. I met, I I got him a dog and all that, but I had the dog for four months after I sold her. Damn, like I had to look at the dog. Like they like it was going to be like I was going to have to look at the dog. Yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. pay somebody to take care of that dog because I couldn't look at the dog no more. <laughs> you feel me? So I cried when I sold that dog. I, I didn't even feel good, and it's crazy. Like the money, the shit I did with the money, like 
How about cars? Like, we rented some houses, got some jewelry. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still on that young nigga shit. You know what I mean? I didn't do nothing with the money, so that shit was crazy. Yeah. Like, you feel me? So was that a, a co-own that you had uh, with your partner? Or that was that was all you? That was all me. That was to the necklace. Like, yeah. I didn't co-own nothing. You know what I'm saying? That was to me. I had ten puppies. That was to my. That was to myself. And uh, like honestly, that shit is a teary-eyed conversation. Fool, like motherfucker, be like, "What are you talking about, dog? You yeah, about? like you fucking stupid. You right? Know, like, fucking much I got nah, through this shit. Like, nah, man. But it's what? it's it's, it's the real deal. It's yeah, the real so. deal. You know what I mean? And and you you probably if you was hands on when you was a kid, you still hands on because it's a lot of niggas that think you know niggas on your level. Yeah, ain't yeah. fucking with the dogs like that. You know what I'm I mean? Ain't, 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 ain't out there picking up dog shit. Ain't right, out there so look, feeding out. dogs. I'm ain't out there out. whelping puppies. You know what I mean? I want to shout out my young nigga. I, you know what I'm saying? He's my employee. He worked for me. He's the upcoming dog breeder himself. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Big Money Exotics. But low bro, you know what I'm saying? He there every morning. He cleaning up dogs. He learning game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I play. I pay him whatever he need. I pay, I pay him whatever he, you know, whatever he charge. Uh, he pay, he get, he, he get paid decent too. And, uh, I'm whipping up the four litters at a time. And if I do have somebody whip my litter, I'm going to pay them, and they're going to have to stay with me. Yeah. I cannot, like, send my puppies off of somebody, and, like, nobody's going to want to see their puppies in better health than me. Mm-hmm. So if I pay somebody to whip, it damn got to be one of my kennel partners. They're going to come stay with me for a month. Yeah. I'm not doing no whoopers or none of that. So, like, we got too much, I got too much investing to the dogs to, like, let the dog's life depend on somebody else, you know? Right. And there's great whoopers out there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the great whoopers that's putting in that hard work. But just me personally... If I got somebody, I, if you, somebody working for me, they got to stay with me. Or they got to stay in my guest house until, yeah. until the puppy's old enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? For you, sure. That sure. level's on the way, though. Huh? That, that level. You about yeah. to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you better, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. you good whelpers, nigga, I'm, chime I'm, in, I'm my nigga. I'm scared to let ready. somebody whelp, hey, man. Get ready to move into I'm, this nigga pool house, nigga. It's hey, so stupid. <laughs> I'm I'm scared to let somebody whelp, fool. That shit is, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is your bag, you know? Right. Especially if you breed high power shit. Yeah. That's a hundred somebody playing with. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know what happened with over a hundred thousand out here? Yeah. Like, ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas get killed for for nothing. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> then it could really not be their fault too. Right. Like the weapons could really be doing their thing and whatever happened to the puppies could really not be their fault too. So you gotta understand all that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like having nobody with my puppies unless they rest my exotic members. And I know ain't nobody from my camp. And then you gotta think it'd be some workers out here that be bring dogs. Yeah, it that's is. a contract. That's a contract. That's a, that's a conflict of interest. Yeah. You, I don't. You bring dogs. Yeah. You have my puppies. Yeah, nah. You you might nah. be in, you might be competitive with me nah. and try to do something yeah. to my shit. Yeah, dead homies. We not yeah. doing that. Anymore. That was one of the main reasons I got to fuck with George and a lot of you camera niggas ain't because yeah. I didn't know shit about the dogs. You know what I mean? So right. him being able to, you know, like your boy that you got coming over right now that's working for you. Yeah. You showing him the game and showing him your way. You know what I mean? And, right, 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 in the right, Westmount right. way. So he learning the right way. You know what I mean? So it's like when niggas see a nigga behind the camera, it's like, God damn, them, them angles. You know what I mean? Like, how you know that shit? How you do this? How you do that? And it's the same shit. You know what I mean? You, yeah. it, it depend on who you come up under. Right, right, right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn the shit from somebody who's, uh, you know, on top of that shit and really loving it and doing it and uh, just like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, the, you know what I'm saying? My man's that taught me. Um, he was learning as he was showing me, so I wasn't necessarily learning off his instructions. I was more likely learning off his losses and his wins. But it it don't take no less from how I, how I learned. Yeah. And um, like like as far as like what I know, what I feel like I know, and what I could do, mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep it a hand. I don't feel like nobody. I don't feel like. I don't feel like nobody can compete or compare with the information I know as far as about dogs, as far as breeding exotics. Now, it is people that I look up to for inspiration, you know what I'm saying, that shit like that. But, like, right now, like my energy is not matchable. Right, right. It's not. It's nothing you can do about it. So when it comes down to your position and where you are now, and you see a nigga who's, who's asking you about getting into this dog world, you know what I mean, into this exotic shit, how do you diversify if they in it for the money or if they in it for the love of the dog? There's no way to be in dogs for money, cause like you only get money like a couple. Of, like you only gonna get money a couple of times. Like you know how many times you gonna clean dog shit, feed dogs, wash dogs, uh, fix problems. Yeah. Like you gotta say like a dog gonna come in heat twice a year, right? Three times in our years. So two, three times a year you gonna get paid off that one dog. It's three hundred and sixty five days in a year. So like ninety five percent of you uh, breeding dogs just cleaning up shit, taking care of dogs, making sure they're healthy. So this shit is not for anybody that just want to get into the dog game because it makes money. Because like you making money, yeah. When you making money is good, but as far as like 
Like I said, it's 365 days. You might get, you might have a litter, and they might be, you might get money for a week, two, two three weeks out the year. Mm -hmm. It's 300 days left for cleaning up dog shit and right. take care of dog. And I don't give a fuck how smart a dog is. Ain't none of them motherfuckers cleaning about that itself or feeding themselves. <laughs> you got to get out there and do that shit. You got to have love for dogs, you feel me? For sure, for sure. It got to be in you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't do nothing that you don't like to do for too long. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what made you. On a on a completely different note, expand the way that you've been expanding. I just seen you do a big expansion, bring money going from uh, NYC. You know what I mean? Like, it, you know what I'm saying that's of, big. That's, that's big. big. I appreciate it, and um, I say like it's business too. You know, like some people was get, that somebody that you fucked with prior no, to? No, no, that's somebody that I respected the grind and. They've been watching me work, and I want part of what's going on. I want to shout out West Montezada, Greg. West Montezada, New York, NYC. That's my nigga, G. And uh, bro haven't even did a bring yet. And he spent over, like, no cap. I'm going to be honest. Like, he spent over 170 in dogs. Yeah. 170,000 in dogs. And still haven't did a breeding. Um but nigga, you gotta realize that Westmount nigga having that name is damn near priceless. You know what I mean? Like, it's the information it's, he it's, paid for. Like, like bro, yeah, franchise yeah, yeah. Westmont is exotic. So he he owns he owns Westmont Exotics New York. Okay. So so like the how he came in, he he paid for the information. Okay. He paid for his place. He, you know what I'm saying he didn't need no handouts. I mean, he had never had a personal relationship, so that's what had to be done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so he paid twenty k for a franchise. I flew out there. I'm saying I integrated with his people. I fucked with him. I talked to him. Me and him got to, you know what I'm saying, chop it up. And we established a conversation. And when I floored that, I came out of there with a contract. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the contract state what, you know what I'm saying, what the business, what, you know what I'm saying, what I uh, hold to you, what I think, you know, what's going on. Right. What the do's and don'ts. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, uh, like, bro came crazy. And, like, it's crazy. Like, a lot of people don't match my energy like, with this dog shit. You know what yeah. Mean? Like, bro, really matched my energy, bro. Like, he took a risk, bro. Like, yeah. he never did a dog breeding. Like, he don't necessarily know. Like, he's taking, he trusts a nigga. Right. He spent 170, never did a dog breeding. Never sold a dog. He over 170,000 invested. You know what I'm saying? So I'm fucking with bro hard. And it's like, if I buy a dog from in the, in the next three years, it's probably going to be from West Miami's House, New York, or another West Miami a member. And, like, I'm going to say this. California is the best state in the world. Period. Ex as far as exactly, but go. He's in New York. I would say New York is probably a couple years behind us for yeah. sure. The shit he got is shit that I want. Like the shit <laughs> that I will buy. Yeah. I, I instructed him to go buy everything. Like I point he shoot. I point he shoot. He right. got all the shit I would buy. There's nobody on the East Coast of the United That's States fucking is with fucking him. with West Miami, like New York. Nobody. That's nobody. Hard. No. It's not. There's no. T and it's. It's. It cannot be beneficial for me to be biased about this because yeah. I would lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody on the East Coast is fucking West Montezac, New York. And it's two for two reasons because because the risk he took and because the motherfuckers he fucked with. Right. Like he, you feel what I'm saying? Like he got all the hottest shit. He got nine play, he got nine dogs. He ain't never did a breeding before. Damn. That's yeah. crazy as fuck. So with the um with that being said, how far do you how far are you willing to expand? You know what I mean? How far you want to see this West Mile go? You know I need I mean? the like, top spot. I need to be the best in the world. I don't yeah. Know nonetheless. What you feel like it's gonna take to get there? You on the, you on the way right now, my it's nigga. Gonna take, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I got it's 19 members. It's listen take, to me. Listen to me. I done been from here to China, nigga. I done seen hella dogs. I done seen hella breeders. You know what I mean? The your energy is through the roof. You know what I mean? The the moves that you've been making, the moves that I've been watching you make the last 365 days. Right, right, right. Is damn near unmatched. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? And to see niggas growing like that is is astounding. You know what I mean? That's exactly where niggas want to be. But they got to realize that they got to put in the, the groundwork that you was putting in from from day one. You know what I mean? And being willing to to not jump off the jump off the roof and grab that 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 wraith. You know what I mean? Not jump off the roof and grab some shit that they that they probably could afford, but they need to be reinvesting. I'm gonna say this too. Like West Mine a team. So like it's like a wave, it's like a force. So it's like my team members what helped me move like this is like my team members follow suit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like if I had like a team and I wasn't on what I was on, it wouldn't like it wouldn't look like this. And like my team, my team is with everything. My team is bullshit. Yeah. My team is with selling jewelry. My team is with selling everything, buying everything. My my team love more, like care about dogs more than they do about people. It's sick with us. 
Like I'm talking about my baby mama, like it's sick. Like I, I'm, it's a drug to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like, how'd you get your baby mama on board, nigga? The money. Okay. And naturally, my baby mama, like when she, <laughs> like, she, like first off, she gonna support whatever I'm doing because she's my woman. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. Gonna do that after dribble, and then like, cause my baby mama didn't even like dogs before I met her. She yeah. never even was fucking with dogs, but like when she seen that I like them, like she kind of forced to like it. But then she see what, like she see what I'm liking them. She she see like. Like she see his business into a tool, so now she like him. Like, you can't tell my baby mama nothing about no dog no more. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. You talk about a dog, she gonna be, what? You uh, yeah. stupid. <laughs> this dog worth more than you. Like she yeah. tell you, you feel me? So shout out my baby mama too. You know what I'm saying she been here for the whole time, and she been helping me go through the, the ups and the downs. Yeah, the brown. So yeah, I want to yeah. shout out her too. She been doing her thing. Every strong man deserves that queen. Yeah, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. And uh. Man, I got so many questions. Hold on, hold on. Let me get back to these notes. What's the, what them people talking about on live? Who got some questions for us man, on that man, live? Man. I know that shit going man, up look, right man. now. So look, hold on. I'm going I'm to open the live up to Go questions. Ahead. And uh, I'm going to get my phone to my mans, man. And uh, whatever questions I got for West Mind is out of Hold on, Chris, man. I don't even want to do up. this. I'm going to bring my cousin up here. You know what I mean? He's right. been fucking with you the long way. You know what I mean? Right, it's right, it's right, only right. right. I want y'all to do this together. You, you know right. what I mean? Cuzzo. Come on, let's go. Hey man, come let's, answer these uh, yeah, questions, yeah, man. Yeah, hey, let's do this. Hey, to to the to the public, anybody watching, we're gonna we're gonna do a little section for questions. Any question y'all got to ask, West well, Mind Exotic Richmond, I'm gonna answer for y'all, man. Be polite, man. Don't ask me nothing crazy, you? Yo, 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 we in this thing. Hello, hello, come in. I got what's a going on, too, man. Though, man? What's the deal, man? What's up? Are you paying attention to other camps? Do you even know what's really going on with other camps, man? Or are you just focused on you, man? It's fucked up. Like, I have to be, though. You know? Like, you got to know what's going on out there. You know what I'm saying? For you you got to see what's the dogs out there. You got to see how, how the dogs are producing. In the dog breeding world, I feel like it's best to pay, pay attention to what's going on in the world. Like, you have to. Somebody you know, want to know what's the best bulldog blood? It's no such thing as the best to me. The best bulldog blood. I mean, there's such thing as the best. I ain't gonna knock it, but uh, if I had to choose, I say Dopey. Dopey. I say Dopey. You feel me? For my own reasons, I say Dopey. You know what I'm talking about? If people want to move fast, what does it take besides a lot of money? A whole lot of drive, man. A whole lot of it's motherfuckers that don't got money, but got a whole lot of energy, fool, and that energy run run them into the money. So if you ain't got the money, you gotta have a whole lot of energy. You gotta have that drive. You gotta have that will. You gotta want it. Yeah, somebody agree with you, dope, dopey, definitely off tops. What underground kennels you been keeping an eye on? It's crazy, right? I don't really know who's underground or who's front line. Cause like some motherfuckers will tell you I'm underground, but some motherfuckers will tell you I'm on the front line. But I'ma tell you like the underground kennel that I feel like they doing their thing. Uh uh Head Up Bullies, Old Girl Oregon, and I got uh Busy Bones, she doing her thing. Uh, shout out Marathon Bully, shout out my nigga Fresh, Holly and them, shout out my nigga GB and them, they got Keyway, I'm saying them niggas, them niggas got a lot of dogs, and I understand, I know how it feels to take care of a lot of dogs, them niggas definitely working, I'm gonna shout out them niggas, uh, uh, Jeremy and them too, uh, I'm gonna shout out, as far as like underground kennels, my nigga Demo from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying, he definitely is upcoming, he got to drive and get him in the right, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a place. I don't want to knock nobody and call nobody underground. They feel like they high power too. So like, I don't really want to know who's underground is who who on the front line. But let me see. Like, my nigga Money Mac, my young nigga, he like 14, 15. He like, I if I had to drive the young bro out at 15, I'd be rich already. You feel me? So I wanted for sure. So I want to say my young nigga Money Mac cut like 14, 15, and I, I he inspired me, and I'm and, and I'm older than him. So I would like to say that. Um, yeah, camps, I young camps like that's that's like up and coming underground in that lane. Let me see, like who up and dirty dog kennel. You know what I'm saying? My man's in Arizona cut. The little nigga work hard. He doing all the right things. He putting up all on the right blocks to. You know what I'm saying? I I, I like my young nigga dirty dog kennel. I respect how he coming. 
uh, 4PF. 4PF in Atlanta, my nigga Monte. I say he's uh, up and coming, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like his, I like his energy, you know what I'm saying? He working hard, you know what I'm saying? I respect him as far as up and coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, BWE from Florida, my nigga Will, my nigga doing high power things. I don't know if he, I don't know if he uh, underground or on the top of the ground, but I'm gonna say Cuz, cause Cuz working, and like the like the top underground, the top underground nigga right now, like not camp, the top underground nigga is West Mun as I can NYC. Like the dogs he got is no nigga in history. Of dog breeding that got the type of dogs he got and ain't did no breeding yet. So I'm gonna shout out my mans and them. Uh it's a couple niggas I would like to shout out, but I know they ain't underground. So, you know what I'm saying? I know they they already niggas in the dog game and they solidified, so I ain't gonna really say them. But as far as underground, like I like our niggas I feel like it's underground, like them them the niggas that, you know what I'm saying, that's around and I see working. Oh yeah, big money, big money exotics, my nigga risking them. They, you know what I'm saying, they made a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And spent, you know what I'm saying, the bag and got, you know what I'm saying, some nice dogs to, you know what I'm saying, get that camp right. Uh, them the camps right now, just off the top of my head, like, you feel me? If I miss somebody that's underground, I ain't mentioned. Uh, oh, John, too. John from Crosshair Guideline, he got hot shit. I done bought a couple dogs from him. He ain't on the front line. He's for sure underground. He sure, and he for sure got front line type of dogs, so I'm going to shout out cuz. And uh, you might want to make a shout out to your your folks that get all the pharmaceutical right for you, man. That's not, not on the ground though. Nah, I would just still period because true viewers, them people, man. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't on that topic yet, but for sure, like I'm a True View athlete, so I'm like starting point guard for True View with Productions. I want to shout out True View for the information. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out True View for. Everything, you know what I'm saying? If you're a dog breeder uh, in the world and you need and, and you not tapped in the True View Reproduction, you ain't tapped in at all. True View Reproduction sell everything as far as incubators. Um, you know what I'm saying? They do AIs, you know what I'm saying? Ultrasound that let you know anything about the dog that you need to dog. Anything about reproduction, Brittany and Travis want to let you know. Uh, Alma, Brittany, Travis, Tanya, the whole True View team is a... Uh, 10 out of 10 respected as far as West Manazada go. I'm going to shout out True Reproduction. Um, they are the, the best in reproduction services in Southern California so far for me. Hello, come in. Got to know, how often does a person need to go to another camp and buy a dog? When is a camp ever fully sufficient to have their own shit to ain't got to go nowhere? They just a supplier and not a buyer. You can never have a governor. You can never have a, you can never be the person that feel like you got everything you need because you never know what somebody else is doing in their camp. You always got to have that, you always got to have that feeling to where like you always willing to go out your camp and get that. Because I mean, whatever you doing, it could be somebody that's doing what you're doing better than you're doing, whether you want to admit it or not. And at that point in time, you need to grab them genetics. So it's never a time from, for me right now being 28 until I get 70, 100 it's never going to time be a time where I feel too cool to buy a dog from another camp. Like, you never know what somebody doing in New York. One Deep said, is Bape the Tom Brady of bullies? No. Yeah, you got your answer right there, man. No. Cut. There's no Cut dog. dry pace. Bape is, is top top five in, in as, as far as bullies, but I, it, I, I can't give the dog with no tail. Tom Brady, like that's like the best quarterback. I'm not giving no dog that I'm gonna tell that type of title. And Interstate is on that type of level, and Bape is on that type of level. But me, preferably my pre me, what I like, he he won't be number one. Who is number number one through five? Not in order. Top five, not in order, or I, order if you can do it. All right, so look, I can't tell you. I can't tell you no order because it's predicated on what your female likes. So different different females like different shit. So different females need different shit. Right now in the world, I'm gonna say sensei. I'm not telling you who. I'm telling you about who producing. I'm not. I'm not gonna say who who the best or. I, I'm I'm gonna include the best with with hype, 
with production, with branding, with with everything. I'm gonna put everything I put in there. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Sensei. I'm gonna say Jiagi. I'm gonna say Bosachi. Now Bosachi is like it's kind of hard to say because, like you know, like. I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't gonna put Versace in there. He should be in there, but it's, I ain't gonna put him in there because I just ain't gonna put him in there. But right now, I'm gonna say Sensei, Busachi, Fat Boy, uh, Hector Bulls, Fat Boy. Uh, listen, man, I swear to God, I wanna say Matt River, but the dog went on the live, bro, so I ain't gonna say him. Bait, I'm gonna say Bait. Now, it's a couple islands. Let me say this. There's a couple islands in, in the bully game. It's the Babe Island. It's the George Miyagi Jiyagi Island. It's the Manuel Bosachi Island. And it's the it's two more islands. It's the it's it was a couple more islands, but it's the X Stack in them island. It's the Dizzy Devil in them island. And it's Sacramento exclusive in them island. To me. So it's like Dizzy. Jaggy, Sensei, you know what I'm saying? Them type of dogs. The best dogs right now are all California dogs. Sensei, Dizzy, Jaggy. Uh, I want to. I'm gonna shout out Stack and Guap. I, I fucking. I don't know where bro at. Bro, like in. I don't know where, bro. Bro and bro, like Midwest somewhere, but bro working. Uh, who else got some like? I want to shout out K Dog from Georgia. Uh. I like Lil Fresh and Mini Fresh, the Bitcoin blood, them niggas, them saying them niggas, them, them, them dogs is crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's a couple islands right now. You got the Giagi George Island, you know what I'm saying? You got the Bosachi Manual Island, you got Kong Island, which is X Stack, you got Sacramento Exclusive Island, and it's a couple islands right now, you know what I'm saying? That that's I'm talking about niggas that don't have one dog that's crazy. I'm talking about niggas that got camps of like like consistent crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Uh I ain't gonna say go to line, bro. Like you said you asked me about go to line, bro. Like them niggas just turned down a stack off on me, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I gave them niggas credit. I told them niggas like low blow them, the go to line. Uh, I had conversations with them niggas and uh I have a visa son, which is a low blow son, and I came at him in the most respectable way. You know what I'm saying I, I, I wanted to put the dog on the side of the dog and, and do a, a, like a stack off. Even if the dog that I own, which is a visa, did look better than low blow, I feel like it was still benefiting them niggas because the low blow is only benefiting it's only benefiting him if he outproduce himself. That's the type of stuff I would like to breed to a dog that outproduces himself. So. You know what I'm saying? I I, I I can't say low blow them, but they definitely got high power. Uh, low blow them got high power dogs, but I can't say them. If you start in the camp, you spend your bag on a bitch or a stud right now? A bitch. I'm never buying a stud. I can't say I'm never buying a stud because I bought Mike and Mary, but I'm not. Well, you like, brought Mike and Mary when you was already 20 dogs in. Yeah, I can't see nobody want me to have better than himself. Why would you sell me this dog if this dog's going to make you pay your rent? I wouldn't understand. Some people don't know what they got. Yeah, that too, but it's like, I feel like, for example, I bought a I bought a sensei daughter. I have I had option to buy fresh pig male off the sensei litter. You don't but, think that's the beneficial right now? They closed him for the for Yeah, the but ever. I feel like first pick female bred to the best sensei son in the world. It's better than Sensei, or it's better than me buying that stud. Like, you know, in order for me to have a stud off the father, for me, it has to be better than the father. Or why would they go to you? They're going to go spend the money with the nigga that got the clout. They're going to spend the money on the father, the nigga that got the more clout. Why would you spend money with me unless I have better? So I'm not keeping no boy off no dog. I don't give a fuck who owned the dog unless my dog is better than the father. Regardless of who I'm you know saying. For sure, for sure. What's your perfect dog? And a bully. What's the perfect bully? My bully? Your bully. Perfect bully. As far as skin go, color go, height go. Ibiza with a full tail, lilac, chocolate, chocolate, 
I bred to Ibiza, so I'm gonna have to run with it. Like, like chocolate, ch- <laughs> give me a. I had it already. Dead homie is sick. I had it already, so I'm already content with Mad River. I ain't gonna lie when I'm. Talking That's Mad River. If you want to ask me, my perfect dog is Mad River, which would be a lilac or chocolate full tail Ibiza. And that's the only thing that's like that is Mad River. And if motherfucker call me biased if they want to, but that's the only dog that's that's like that. Like that for me, you know what I'm saying? Is it important for folks to go to shows? Do shows make you break you or does is it a non factor? I mean it just depend on it just depends on your branding. Like everybody it it's a nigga that go to the show that benefit off the show, but it's niggas that don't never go to shows and that make a lot of money too. So it just depending on your purpose, how you coming at it. I mean, me if you're pre- photoshopping, the show gonna break you. Me, preferably, like, you gotta put them dogs on the side of them other type of dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just be like, I got the high power shit, but the other dogs about, you know? If you got something, you hide, nigga, you're not pulling up to the show. That way, that way. Period. You gotta yeah, come hey, to the show, hey, man. When you scared of that stack off, nigga, you're not pulling up to the show. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because niggas, yeah. hey, niggas is coming for heads. Right, right, right. Period. Right, right. You know what I mean? I didn't see the bag dropped right there at the show because they had to see that boy in person. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. And and I done seen niggas some of the hottest dogs get pulled get pulled off of some of the biggest stages because they seen somebody Yeah. Because they done seen some shit, you know what I mean? Pull up that they they was like, Oh nigga, I got I got I gotta come off stage right now. I, I ain't been to a show yet. I'm on my way though. I'm on my Cuzzo, way. Cuzo, you gotta make it. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the best, the best, and the biggest show in the world, nigga, is right here in San Bernardino, Your California. Show. Yeah, West Coast Bully Expo. It's nothing like it. IBR. You already know we throwing the biggest shows, point blank, period. But out of all the shows I've been to, uh, that's by far the show that you cannot miss. So 2022, everybody needs to book them calendars up. You know what I mean? That needs to be the show that everybody's paying for a booth, nothing that everybody's year. at. It's nothing this year. You know what I mean? It's nothing. Y'all got y'all got time. Y'all got time to build. Y'all got time to but grow. Y'all got time to kind of see what's out there. Everything by now, right? Mm, nah, man, because 2021, a lot of niggas was coming from... Uh, a lot of niggas was doing a lot of things. You know what I mean? It was it was a lot of breedings going on. It was a lot of everything in the dog community. It's like the the pandemic hit everything but the dog community. You feel me? If anything, the pandemic helped out the dog world. Somehow, some way, you know what I mean? That's that's me personally seeing it with my own two eyes. I'm like, I haven't seen this much money being moved around in the dog world. I haven't flown this much. To go do different things for different camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mando. Mando. You know what I mean? So I know when these shows really come back around, it's going to be some heat out there. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, we in Southern California, and for some reason, the Frenchies are going crazy. Crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? But the exotics are always going to be there. You know what I mean? That's the major stamp. And niggas can't run from them shows. You know what I mean? Rich, jump in here. Come on. Another drink? Yo, another what? Another drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some, put some drink up. What was your uh, Hennessy and what? Uh, Coke, Hennessy and Coke. So you good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You reachable, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the deal? What's the deal? You reachable? Is it hard to reach you, man? No, I'm like, I'm the easiest person to reach. I got, I got email. Uh, my phone numbers on my Instagram. Uh, my DM for show is live and um, it's not beneficial for you not to be able to contact me. I'll tell you that. So it wouldn't benefit me if you can contact me. But I do get a lot of messages, like thousands of messages. So that's just irritating. Okay, I ain't over it. Hundreds of messages. And um, I got to go through a lot of the messages. You know what I'm saying? So be with me on that fact, but I usually get to everybody back fast, and you usually you can tell who's serious and who who on bullshit. Anybody get the dog breeding my sport? Man, dog breed my sport merch man is out. Uh, it's a West Mount exotic purchase man, or we sell a hoodies for a hundred, the the t shirts for thirty, the sweatsuits for one fifty, and it's like a movement. And uh, for the motherfuckers that's really breed dogs like this, that really like live like this, this is for you. And even for the people that just watch it on the side, that's love it. It's for you too. So go ahead and tap in my DM, your size, and uh, dog breed my sport merch. We got it. Somebody said, do you do pup backs, man? Green to your studs, your, your bulldogs or your bullies? I only do I only do pup backs uh, to West Mind Exotic members. If you are not a West Mind Exotic members, I am not doing the pup back. 
my West Mount Exotic franchise fee is twenty thousand dollars. What breed you make the most money from? My phone charger. Oh shit! Shit dead. Make the most money from it's a crowd for every dog i can't say uh right now i would say that the bully is nothing fucking with a bully but it's motherfuckers that breed frenchies that'll tell you otherwise or some people that breed english bulldogs that tell you otherwise but uh exotic bully exotic bully it yeah, with a live shut down for a minute we just gonna go ahead and keep moving forward that way, that way, that way. Yeah, Marathon said he 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 need a dog, man. Let him get a dog, fresh man. Fresh said, let him get a dog. That's man. a big old deal, man. Should you keep a stud every litter, or wait till you got the best inbred to be the best face of your camp? It don't necessarily got. It don't necessarily have to be inbred. It's probably best if it's not. Um, you should wait till you have the best stud in the world or top. At least top 15, top 10 in the world to keep it. If it can't compete with the top 10 dogs, you shouldn't keep it. Yeah. Top 10 dogs as far as who getting stuck, who, what studs are getting used the most. Gotcha, gotcha. What well, we on, man? Man, we on a whole lot of West Mont, man. We talking yeah. about, you know what I'm saying? It's, I appreciate it, big dog. Yeah. Nah, this shit ain't over, nigga. Y'all keep talking. <laughs> I see the uh I see you you brought some of the jewels out, man. Was mm. that uh is that like some business write off? Or you gotta have a business to get a write off or what what that is, man? I mean I still came from nothing, so from time to time I'ma still make sure I'm happy. It ain't that major, you know. You know? Yeah, okay. I see you got Matt River. You got your son on your neck, man. Lonely and my youngin. Uh, so you say on dead homie, you talking about him too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I got him on my chain. Uh, I got a piece made for him. It was only right. Uh, it's crazy, right? As much as I've been a dog breeder, I always, I damn near was, I never wanted a piece with my dog name on it. I always thought that was too cool. Like, that was always too cool for me. Like, I mean, it's too cool. But when my dog died, I was like, man, fuck that. I'm finna put cuz on my chain. With the, with the, with the bullies, huh? Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm Westmont Exotics too, man. Hello, come in, man. Westmont Wealthy, West Mount Wealthy huh? <laughs> That's what we've been saying for a minute. That way, that way. Man, is competitive breeding healthy or what? Man? What is competitive breeding? Competitive breeding has to be healthy. If you had a brother that played basketball with you, Nine times out of ten, you're gonna be better if you than if you play basketball by yourself. So I I would suggest that somebody else being equal or better or just a little bit worse than you will make you be a little bit better. You know, like it's like it's like a chip on your shoulder of motivation. Is it it's good for the game as long as it's you know, the, the 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 dialogue is respectful. It's great for the game. You know what I'm saying? Just keep the dialogue respectful. Who who's your competitors right now? Zero. Zero. My 2015 self. I don't have no competitors. I can't have competitors. I just feel like I'm in I'm in competition with how I used to feel. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no competitors at all. Is that a good thing? Not having no competitors? So it's kind of like... Oh, that don't mean I ain't watching what's going on. I know what's going on, but like for I say, like for Westmont to have a competitor, I don't, we don't have a competitor for like we... Like that'd be bad. It'd be bad energy for us, just because. Like, what our, would what would make a competitor? Somebody else's paper, or somebody else's production, or somebody else's likenessness. What? Whoever setting dogs that's equal and quality for around the same price as you. So if I'm setting somebody setting dogs that's equal of quality around the same price as you, that's they're competitors. It's what like is shit. your price range? My price range started at 10K. It's very, very, 90% of the time, you have to have at least 10K to buy a dog for me. Sometimes I sell a dog for 8,000 or something, but it's not rare. It's rare, and it's more predicated on me sending a dog to a pet home or something. Like, just, you know, like nine times out of 10, like you're going to have to have at least 10. You feel me? What registry are you messing with, toughest, man? You can see. You 
JC. This is it's just the most decorated. It's the most respected. I mean, I got respect for other registries. I'm not saying I'm not knocking no other registry, but UKC is the most decorated. And it, it, I would say UKC will give you the best price on your dogs. Also, you say UKC will. UKC. Right now, today, not just your camp, but just all around in the bully community. What sells for more, color or structure? It's fucked up, right? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Color is faster. Structure is for dog breed. Like structure is should sell faster. Structure doesn't sell faster. Yes, yeah, structure is better than color for any day of the week. But structure doesn't sell faster. What looks good on the eye sell faster, and it's all the crazy colors will sell faster. But I would say like I don't give a fuck how buff a dog is. I'm gonna fuck an all white or brindle. You're not thinking of money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got that from George too, but I, I respected it once he told me it to me because when George told me, I'm like, I thought about every all white dog I knew and I thought about every brindle dog I knew. And on the dead homies fool is a major difference for. So I, I, got, I got that quote from George Soto, but I'm, I'm gonna quote that on the interview just because now I'm looking at it. I don't, there's no all white stud or no all brindle stud. To me, that's really going super crazy. I'm not saying they ain't looking good, they're not bred good. There's no super studs, super super studs. Oh, what? But I, oh, Aunt just said Busachi. Busachi is a super stud, but Busachi, yeah. <laughs> nigga had to come back. Shit, God damn, you know what I mean, what 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 make this nigga Busachi it? You know what I mean? Like him being all white and you not knowing that you can go all white or brindle and it being a hundred percent against the the curve. It's crazy because you asking the wrong nigga because I'm not super oh. fond of Busachi. Yeah. Uh, I just I, I just respect it right. as an island. I respect it as a I'm lane. Good. I respect it as quality, but I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, but yeah, what yeah. it does bring to the table for me on for me being me looking on the outside is it brings a, it brings structure to the table. It brings girth and bone. But I'm not a super fan of it. I ain't knocking bro bro doing this thing, but like I'm not the Busachi blood nigga. So for Busachi. Me. That breeding are two breedings away when you breed to Busachi, in your opinion. I had a Busachi daughter, so never, let me not knock it. I had a Busachi daughter, and she was, uh, I bought her. I felt comfortable buying her, and she died, and I never got a litter off of her. And I still feel comfortable with buying her. I still doesn't, I don't regret buying her. So, uh, ask the question again. Yeah, it's basically like, would I buy the end or what you say? Yeah, would you? I don't know what I buy it for. I'm like a, I'm the type of nigga like I don't know what I buy until I see it until I, you know, like. But just off the top of my head, I'm not a Bosachi blood type nigga, but I do highly respect it, you know. Yeah, I was saying if it's, can you breed to Bosachi with a bitch and get that puppy, or do you have to take it again and again to something different to get what you, you know, what you want? Is he one breeding away or two breedings away or more? Two breedings. Two breedings away? Two breedings. I mean, that nigga's making hot shit, but for me, he ain't two breedings. Two breedings. What dog, in your, in your opinion, hit off top first? You know, you're going to get one out of it. Every time you breed it, you're going to get something. That's 100%? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. No blood? Nothing. No stud? Nothing. Nothing. These dogs are new dogs. These dogs are exotic. They're new. So the genetics are not... The genetics are not solidified. So, like, a lot of the inbreeding and line breeding happens because they want to get that look that, that day is hard to get. So, like, for me, I swear to God, bro, everything, bro, I I, I just want to be truthful with you, Fumat River. And it's my dog, bro. So you going to feel like I'm capping, but I made that dog on my appearance, what I felt like was best for the bully game. And I say Mad River, bro. And he gone, so like I said, like, you know, he gone, it is what it is. But if you really want to ask me, like, if you did it, how would you would have did it? My river is my example. Yeah, I fuck with it. I seen one of his productions for sure. Was it 30 George? 30 George is. Zaza River. Zaza, 30 George. Uh, Big Money and them got a crazy dog. Uh, it's a couple crazy Mad River sons. You feel me? Uh. I just sold a decent one, a crazy one of fucking Texas. I got two crazy ass females. Like I said, like when it's all said and done, it's less than 
40 mad river puppies and I can't do nothing about it. I can't. If I can't give you something, it's not here no more. I saved some Britons for me. I didn't save enough Britons for me to sell. So like when people see me sell them mad river puppies, like, yeah, I saved enough Britons for me, but I didn't sell it enough, I didn't save enough for me to sell it. You feel me? So it was like, I even got people that locked in on the dog. Like, you feel me? Like, I can't sell it because I didn't save enough. I'm dead. I'm just, I rather, you know? So it's like, the best way to get a mad river blood is to buy genetics. You know what I'm saying? And, or it's two times genetics or four times, and that comes into the Brady's to, you know, put that in there. But, uh, um, wait, real quick, real quick. In your opinion, Rich, what does it take to, to create a super stud? What does it take to create a Giagi, Bosachi, babe? Like, is it, is it's a combination of things, in my opinion, but before I place my opinion, I want to hear yours. Being unorthodox, not being scared, bro. Not being making your dog and not, you know what I'm saying? Making, being unorthodox, not not being regular, being, uh, uh, taking risks. I mean, that's the best way I'm gonna say, taking risks. All them dogs was making, all them dogs was made on taking risks, fool. So listen, could you drop off a Bosachi in Cuzzo hands and Bosachi be Bosachi? Say it, uh, if, explain if, it better. If, if, because to me, it takes a super producer as right. the dog. Right. And then it takes a super breeder like yourself right. to push that dog. But he's still got to produce. You know what I mean? Because you could drop off a Mad River to a nobody. And if they don't know what the fuck they doing. See, this is the thing about the dog game that sells you cheese it. It could be a nigga that'd be super good at breeding, but zoop, but they don't have no skills at promotion and be fucked up in the game. It could be a nigga that's super good at promotion, but I can't can't got to breed. They don't know how to breed dogs, and you know what I'm saying? So you have to be good at promotion. You have to be good at breeding dogs. It's multiple things that you have to be to be good at to be a pro breeder. Um, that's it, what the fuck I was talking about. You know what I mean, it, it, it's not just the dog. It's not just the breeder. You could be the best genetic both. chromosome putting together type of motherfucker in the world and not get no money. Yeah. You have to know how to... Propaganda. You have to know how to advertise. Me. You have to know how to advertise what you're putting out, and you know what I'm saying you got to have a mixture of both. You know what I'm saying you could be the best breed in the world and not get money. You feel me? Like for a minute, like I was selling dogs to only breeders. So I said to say this. That's like I didn't have a market to sell dogs to a lot of people, but I was selling dogs to dog breeders because they respect what the shit I. For example, I had more information than I had promotion. Yeah. So I was breeding more high caliber dogs than I was equally to giving that type of promotion. So and I was selling dogs for to breeders for years. I'm talking about niggas was taking the dogs and putting it off their paperwork. I wasn't saying nothing. It is what it is. You feel me? Like, but I was selling dogs for breeders for years. We as a whole was West Minor Exotics. You feel me? We were selling dogs to breeders. And um it got to a point where we got better at the promotion. To kind of equal, you know what I'm saying? To put it on an even plan scale to where like, we send dogs to everybody. But it's a lot. It's a, we've been sending dogs to British for years and we didn't have parts in a little bit of anything around this motherfucker. You feel me? So uh, once the promotion matched the quality of dogs promoting, that's when we got to receive the credibility of what we was making. But when we wasn't receiving the credibility off the dogs we were making it, I'm not knocking it because we deserve it. We was making nice ass dogs, but. It wasn't consistent enough to receive the credibility. Now that we're receiving the credibility, it's not because we're making one or two dogs like this. It's because we're making a whole lot of dogs like this. We deserved it at this point, not just because we, you know, like you know, we put but we put out high power shit. Like, like I said, we breed as a sport. If niggas doing this shit off when they get off of work, West Mount Zodiac is not for you. Now, what made Westmount decide to breed in all different forms of exotics? You got you got bulldogs, you got bullies, you got some Frenchies. You know what I mean. You got a little bit of everything, and this is not common for your top breeder. Not common for a breeder in your league. This is not nothing that niggas is doing. You know what I mean. Preferably because it's all based around a bull breed. So it's not like I'm breeding a German Shepherd. And I'm breeding Huskies. I'm breeding all familiar type of genetics. So it's easier for me to do and I stay. And it's like, what if a motherfucker don't like skateboard? What if he wants skis? I don't want the nigga to have to go spend some money somewhere else. You know so why don't more niggas do it? 
if it's that easy, and not not saying it's easy. It's exactly but, opposite of that. It's extremely hard to produce multiple breeds and quality. Though. Exactly, it's extremely hard to do. Uh, it's extremely hard to do. You and that's it. another reason why you and your camp need a stamp, nigga. Y'all like y'all on a whole nother level just due to that reason. You know what I mean? Just to just to be able to say that you're a one stop shop. That's hard to do. Period, nigga. It's very hard to do, and I feel like that's what we're celebrating at. It's variety. Niggas is humble in here, nigga. That's hard to do, nigga. That's you. You're not gonna find that nowhere. You're not gonna hear another breeder come in here and say <laughs> they got a one stop shop. It's just not gonna happen. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like we, we, we got, we got, we. We got some of the Isabella shit as far as the Frenchies go. That's like the new wave in the Frenchies. The Frenchies is predicated off the colors they carry, not so much predicated on what they look like. We got some of the, 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 the Isabella shit for the colors they predicated on. We got some of the Grinchy shit and the XB shit for the genet for the structure. Hey, like, like you have to have everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for example, if we, if I'm a fucking chef, and you know what I'm saying, we in the chef wars, I, I could cook more shit if I have more ingredients. You know what I'm saying? So. A lot of niggas like, I don't want y'all ingredients because he made it, and I just don't like the way he talked. But this is business. It's not beneficial for you to look at it in the personal aspect. So from my understanding, when I first got in, the reason why niggas didn't mix is because you don't want to feel like a dog came from something that it shouldn't have came from, if you know what I'm saying. Every dog comes from something that didn't come from. You didn't make the first dog. You the dog. Two dogs, be, before you watch your dogs, two dogs before that, you know nothing about the dog. So, like, you only control where you buy at. You buy this dog, that's where you control at. Now you can go the next version of genetics you can control. So it's a contradiction to that because even if where you started, even if you've been in the, even if you've been in the game twenty years, the dog that you bought, the genetics beforehand, you have nothing to do with. Yeah. So like, you cannot be the person to be like, oh, well, I'm, I ain't fucking with them because this and that because like. So you buying more or less into the brand. You believing in in Westmount, period. I'm buying into the program. I'm buying yeah, yeah, into yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm buying to I'm buying into lifestyle. I'm buying into the seriousness of it. Like, yeah. it's different. Like like you see a nigga on fucking on Instagram, he shoot thirty threes in a row in three point line. Like you like, damn bro, like can he shoot with Steph Curry? And it's like if them niggas shoot it out one by one. It's different. Like the nigga on Instagram ain't nothing compared to Steph Curry. Like, right. It's the seriousness of it, like the that man builds like I that feel man like lifestyle is on how he shoot. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. live how I breathe. Yeah. So it's like I have to breathe high power. You feel me? Yeah. Mando. You feel me? No, you know, like the bigger stakes, the better breedings, you know. So not even that. I, I'm a dog nigga naturally. Before I got paid for this shit, I was cleaning up dog shit and it's nothing to me. But I would say like like when you're doing this shit like I wouldn't even get into dogs if I wasn't wanting to be the best. Cause it's like, it's so competitive, bro. Like, when for example, George, the nigga, I do business with him. Mm -hmm. You go to his house, the nigga do five breeds a day. Five times five is 25. Now that's five breeds in person, but we're not counting the dog, we're not counting the boxes that went to FedEx, you feel right. me? So like, you know, if you have a Jiaggy son, GQ son, Lemon Drop son, some shit like that, like you understand that you, in order for you to have even if you have a better son than the dog, you gotta understand when a branding play takes place at too. So like, you gotta have the best and the best in to compete, especially when branding matters. If they gonna fuck with this nigga just because he been do what, how how long he be doing it, you gotta understand how competitive this shit is. Like, you gotta have the best. How long the nigga been on top? How long the nigga been Tom Brady? Twenty years. Yeah, 18, that's what I'm saying. Respectively, yeah, I respect the process. Yeah, and uh. But it's a lot of niggas out there trying to cheat the process. Uh, fuck. No yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's no, get into it. Come on. Stop playing with me. It's no such thing. I mean, it's it's, it's hard to produce one dog that's on a that crazy ass level, but it's very, very hard to produce multiple dogs like that. So you can't you can't fake that, bro. So yeah. like me. If a nigga had a crazy ass dog and I, you know what I'm saying, West my eyes, wow, 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 and I'm putting, you know, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm promoting this crazy ass dog. A nigga is cool, but you got wondering, like, like where's these dogs at? Like, right. Where's the consistency of these dogs at? I feel like that's what George is sell at as far as consistency is quality. A lot of other camps also, but 
that's where you separate yourself at. Like not just making this dog once where it could be where it just happened. Yeah. You know, the genetics just clicked. Yeah. Like, the nigga didn't did this shit 30, 15, 20 times. Like, this is not the dogs doing this. I'm doing this shit. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know mm-hmm. So like, you know what I'm saying? And I that's why I feel like it takes it, t- it 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 takes two. You know what I mean? You gotta have that dog that's it. You gotta have that mad river and you gotta have that rich for it to click, for it to make sense. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You're going to follow that. Not only are you going to follow that blood back, but you're going to follow that breeder back as well to make sure both of them match up. But the, he still got to produce. The information, like, to breed these type of dogs is seldom. A lot of people don't have the information. And these dogs are so new. No dog in the world progresses as far as trending as fast as the bully in the world. The bully, the bully, the dog, the... The expectation of the way the dog looks changes so fast, and so I'm talking about from four years ago. Isn't the, 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 the completely the, the different dog? Is a completely different completely dog. different. The German Shepherd looked the same for 25 years. Yeah, you know, as far as the shitting, as far as the eye. Uh, Why the is way, that though? Because it's man-made. It's okay. predicated on human, not competitive. Com, uh, predicated on. The, Do you feel like the competitiveness is pushing the dog? The exotic breed too fast? Yes and no. Because some people breed for just health. I mean, some people breed for just looks, and then that compromises health. Yeah. But then, like, if you say if you breed for just looks, eventually you're going to have customers calling you back, suing you, whatever case may be, having problems with the type of dogs you're producing, be, you know what I'm saying, because they're not healthy. But, it's like, the common denominator of health and craziness, like, Pokemon, which I say, like, the you know, some shit you just not expect. Like, yeah. Some shit like, damn, but how, what is that? When yeah. somebody see you a dog, I'm like, what they is said, that? said, what the fuck is that? And healthy? Yeah. I'm talking about run, jump, live at least some amount of years. I'm talking about, like, you won, bro. So if you can make a dog that's functional, healthy, and exotic at the same time, you know what you're doing. Yeah. A lot of niggas make dogs just look nice as fuck, but not healthy. A lot of niggas make dogs healthy as fuck, don't look nice. When you meet, when you got make high power dogs and they're healthy and they, Equally ex- exquisite designer, crazy. Then yeah. I feel like you do the dog game justice. You set a nice pets, you know, or breeding stock, and these people are loving these dogs, and these people are getting their money out of these dogs. These people are loving these dogs on day to day basis. These dogs are living their maximum life, is, ex- you know, yeah, maximum life as far as the long as they can live. Uh, and they, you know what I'm saying, they're not having odd problems, dying from any ir- weird ass reasons. You do your thing. If you make a nice ass fucking dogs. And they healthy, you the nigga. Like that's the thing to make the craziest fucking dog and healthy. A yeah. lot of niggas make crazy ass dogs, but them dogs don't last. So the healthiest, prettiest, buffest, nicest fucking dog is what West Mountain Zodics is after. Yeah. So today, nigga, you could breed you breeding one you breeding one kind of dog. What is it? I breed Mad River to a Mad River dog. <laughs> I'm being mad over it to mad over a daughter, not just because the dog is deceased, because it's like that's that's what I want for it. Like, yeah, that's my lane. Yeah, so I'm breeding mad over it to mad over a daughter, but the dogs come out merle, merle, or merle or not merle. I'm not tripping. Not so much of the merle is what's crazy about mad over to me. The process and how the dog is built. The dog is nine inch, fully functional, full tail, straight bite. Fucking elbows, but can run around with German Shepherds all that. I got German Shepherds and all type of, you know, I, I got working dogs. Yeah. Like, my abilities have to be able to run around and go crazy. Like, I can't just have, first off, a lot of people don't understand how to take care of a bully. A lot of people buy these dogs and. Don't understand what goes with it. Yeah, like, you got this exotic guy's dog, you put it and leave it in the cage all day. Like, this dog has, this dog is genetically overly exotic this dog has to run it has to walk it has to run around all day i see it all the time so a lot of niggas breed they, they, they dogs live in the cages for for their life and they come to the show and like damn my dog passed out of the show but the yeah dog doesn't have no exercise but yeah. the, dog is still, the dog has to walk it has to run i don't give a fuck how cool the dog look if the dog can't act like a dog i don't want it yeah the dog can't run around be we're not buying statues can. around this bitch we're not buying statues it's not statues. happening you said what can you guarantee nano hell yeah you can guarantee nano Hell yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, shit, you gotta really breed nano and send nano. So, what you wanna do, nine times out of ten, how you get a nano is genetic mutation for mixing dogs. When you mix dogs, you either get two genes that are prevalent within size. You get a dog that come out real big, you come out, 
you get the dwarf gene. Mm -hmm. The dwarf gene is consistent with nano. You breed a dwarf to a dwarf, and you take that puppy, you breed it to a dwarf and to a dwarf, and you just keep breeding dwarfs to dwarfs. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You, you get that nano gene, but a lot of times people breed. Some some people mix breeds or some people do exotic. I'm I say mix breed because the exotic bully is so exquisite and new that every camp you buy the dog from, the dog was made differently. So the dog is not solidified as far as the dog. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the world bully look different. That's why you go with this camp. They got this certain right. distinct. You're going there for a certain this reason. Camp, this has the distinct look. So the, the genetics is not solidified. I say that to say that when you do get some nano. As far as I consider nano, you know what I'm saying, anything under nine inches, you know. Okay. So to me, micro is ten to ten, you know what I'm saying, ten to ten to ten uh, twelve to ten is you know what I'm saying, is micro. Anything above twelve is mic is pocket and between anything under ten to me is nano. And for you to solidify them genetics, you gotta bring nano to nano to nano to nano. And it's gonna take you at least three, four generations of all nanos to solidify that. So some niggas produce nanos, but they nano might only produce one nano, and it's just a new wave of bullies. So it's like the genetics are not solidified for you to consistently produce that. Um, the best way to consistently produce what you want is to breed to what you want. Mm -hmm. So breed if you want little ass crazy ass shit, breeds it. Little ass crazy shit, but you gotta know that you you gonna you gonna lack something for something you want. Yeah. So so you go this direction so much. You gonna have to go fix something else because you went this way so much. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So it's strategic and it's a god particle of creating. You right, right, right. Of creation. Well, you know the last time you brought a dog to somebody didn't know what they had, or can you still do that? Every time I bought a dog, I they was shouldn't have never sold it. I don't sell grown dogs. It's a fair exchange robbery situation. For me to breed a dog and for the dog to give me money and pay for my lifestyle, and for me to for me to breed a dog, and I sell K okay, puppies ten K. Yeah. The dog make fifty k. Yeah. If that's to happen like that, how does the dog win? Yeah. The dog has to have a forever home. Got it. So for the people that's selling, so people that's making these large sums of money off these dogs and selling it to the next nigga and the dog is grown, I benefit off the niggas that think like that because I buy a lot of grown bitches, but I don't sell none. Yeah. So how did the dog get the win off you? Being the dog that made you all this money, you up, you all on Instagram popping and like. This dog gets sold to this next nigga. This next nigga do the same shit. The next nigga do the same shit. Like the universe like got a cold way how she worked. Yeah. As long as she, usually she likes shit to stay even. So if the dog making you all this money, the best thing that you can do for the dog is give the dog forever home. Because if you don't give for the dog home, you're just a dog breeder. You're losing. You feel me? Like me, I don't sell grown dogs. I'm good for, I got grown dogs that ain't never had puppies. I'm like, I ain't had a bitch in four years. They ain't never had puppies. The bitch ain't getting sold. I raise them dogs because it's like, I'm not, I don't sell grown dogs. I buy grown dogs. And it's like, I don't, for me personally, if I buy a dog, it's gonna die. It's gonna die in my house. I don't give a fuck what you offer me, dead homies. Especially if it made me some money. Cause it's like, the dog has to be able to win. Like, damn, this dog just made 50. How, how the dog win? Dog cannot win by getting sold to the next nigga. And getting sold to the next nigga. And I'm not knocking nobody that sell dogs because I know I'm not gonna stop making you niggas take this money. If a nigga offer you twenty thirty thousand <laughs> and you want that money, a nigga not gonna bread. stop you from making it. Me preferably, I don't sell going dog. Mm -hmm. I got fifty of them. I sell another. How many dogs is too many to have in your yard? Depending on your program, depending on how you how you orchestrate. I have employees that work for me that that, that help, so everybody's different. That's a nigga that can take care of twenty dollars by itself. That's a nigga that can't take care of two. Two. So it's really predicated on your energy and how much you into this shit. Me, like, me, I can take care of 20 dogs, 20, 25 dogs. Solo, so, no employees. Solo. In a residential neighborhood. In a residential no. neighborhood, no noise, no barking, <laughs> no nothing. You hear me? Yeah. And uh, I can take care of 20 dogs, but it's stressful at times because uh, you still got to do breeding. You still got to deal with your life. You still got kids. So. Yeah. So it's very stressful, uh, but it's beneficial while you're stressing about it. You still, you're not financially, you're not financially fucked up while you're stressing about it, but it's other shit that you could be doing that you can't do because you got four dogs in the backyard and you four your dog, I, for example, a dog is a cousin of a wolf. A dog is a, wouldn't not live safely by itself. It's a pack animal. Mm -hmm. So the dog, it needs instruction. It obeys instruction and respects instruction 
as long as you have, as long as you understand a, a dog at heart, as far as knowing how to understand what a dog is and how the dog is bred, you shouldn't have a problem. But um, yeah, like me, twenty. But I got people. I I got. I still got twenty dogs. Mm -hmm. I'm more financially blessed, but I got somebody to help me now. And now that I pay somebody to help me, as long as I'm paying somebody to help me, I can't help. So why the nigga, my, my employee there, why he there, I don't, I can't help cuz. Cause as yeah, yeah. soon as I start doing it, I'm yeah. gonna leave. Yeah. I need your help. You yeah, understand? Yeah. Like I do this shit. You know this in my it's nothing for me, but You here for a reason. You know what yeah, I mean? You got a job to do. Exactly. You know Basically I mean? like I didn't hire you for nothing. I got other shit I could be doing. I could be benefiting West Line Exotics for me. Yeah. And it's shit that bro could be doing that could benefit his household. Like instead of he might be working at Walmart, but he not not he not have nothing in common with him. but he's a dog breed. He like dogs, but he he can't have it. He don't have a job that that he loves doing. So I give a nigga that loves breeding so dogs. So let me let me, let me talk to you like this: young nigga come to you, right? Yeah. 18, 18 and younger. I got five bands. I'm thinking about getting into the shit. What kind of advice you gonna get this young boy? Young girl, you know, it could be a, whoever it is. Young breeder. Let's leave it at that. I got five bands right now. You know what I mean? I could fuck with you. I'm not saying, you're not saying whatever you're saying. I want to hear it from your mouth. You know what I mean? I got five bands. I'm, I'm 17, 18. You know what I mean? Niggas not really going to college like that. I'm, I'm, I see what the dog world is doing. I see what you're doing. Nigga, you shining out here, nigga. How do I, how, what's the next step for me to become the next rich, the next West Mount? I mean, I would say start and don't listen to nobody. Never know if you was the smartest nigga if you never played your play. Mm -hmm. it's like, why would you go blind this nigga, all this nigga dogs, and do what he do? Why they not buying it from him? Why would you go buy all this nigga shit and go do what he do? Like, you gotta be yourself, fool. So how you know you want right? How you know you want Michael Jordan for this whole time? But you, like, you gotta do what you think, fool. Go with your stomach. Like, we black, we kings, we melanated, and it's, you know what I'm saying we got shit. We, Got intuition that the ancestors gave us for. So you gotta do what you think. You gotta do. I'm gonna tell a nigga do what he think. What benefited me? What benefited me most was not listening to nobody. The all the hours I spent up smoking, kicking it back, just thinking, just just fucking fucked up. Yes. Yeah. Broke and didn't have nothing else to do but think about dogs. I would say go do what you thought, cause like who, how would you know that you wasn't the best breed in the world unless you unless you played your cards? So I would go. Say, I would say do what you think. I would say don't listen to nobody, and I would say that do what you think. Now with it being so many dog breeders that are out there right now, who 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 who's my top five? Who am I following right now? You know what I mean? Like I don't give a fuck what they produced. I don't care what's coming from their yard. I don't care how young they are. I don't care about none of that. I need five niggas that I can follow. Or the five niggas that I can IG right now that can either help me level up or that I need to follow or pay attention. I don't want to say follow that I need to pay attention to. Good question. George Soto. George, I, I say first George Soto. I'd be disrespecting the bullies as a dog if I didn't say, bro, X stack Kong, his energy is unreplaceable. Sack exclusive bullies. Them niggas genetics is, is they 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 have some of the sickest genetics. Um, so I, said, I said George, I said X Tag, I said Sax exclusive. Now I'm gonna say somebody that I'm not relatively, relatively like familiar with. Yeah, like, I don't really know her, but but he can't blind Felicia. Okay, she's sick as fuck. Yeah, she's on the other side of the world. I respect what she's doing. Squad. You know I, mean? I respect what she's doing. And uh, on the day of homie fool, if you a dog breeder, you got to respect what she's doing. She got higher power shit. Yeah. And no freak kennel. Okay. There's another camp that's on the other side of the world but that can compete with any state, any country in the world that can compete with dogs. So let's put it like this. George, no, no order though. Dead yeah, yeah, no, no order, no order, no order. Nah, nah, but nah. I'm gonna say George first because I'm the dead homie fool. Cud did what he did, and everybody know what he did, and he that nigga, whatever it is, and, until I come up. I'm gonna say until I come up. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Me. I like that. I'm the dead homies. I respect Cud, but I'm okay. Him, I, 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 I inspired me. So I'm gonna say George, 
Hey, I like when I seen the live nigga with the right from the back. <laughs> you like, nigga, I'm on your neck, nigga. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I probably got more Chucky blood over this motherfucker than you. <laughs> I say George. Hey. I say X Stack. I say Sacramento Exclusive. Sacramento Exclusive is fucking sick. Fucking shit up right now. Fact, sac- niggas don't even know about Sacramento Exclusive. But, all right, mm-hmm. They fucking sick, bro. Sacramento Exclusive, X Stack, George. Little free kennel in the buddy camp of Felicia. That's my fire right now. Like it inspired me as far as quality. Yeah. This has nothing to do with me knowing them. This has nothing to do with No uh, personal relationships, no none of that. Just I, I have no personal relationship with George, X Stack, Sacramento Exclusive, Little Boo. I talk to all of them. Yeah. All of them know who I am and me and all of them have a conversation. I have a zero person relationship with any of them. I've never talked to any of them if it wasn't about dogs. Uh, it's no necessary order. But uh, them the five camps that I, that inspire me, like, them dead homies that keep me on my toes. And they know, they know, like, well, they know Rich coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. The world know Rich coming. Yeah, you know what I mean? So what's next for you in the camp? What you, did, before we get there, hey, George, hold that. George, <laughs> he on right now? George on live talking about some. <laughs> <laughs> little, little freak, George, I'm all, little freak is always good. So, I mean that, I, that, that, that. What up, know, nigga? That what come, up, nigga? That I know you see it. us in here. Uh huh. I, I I say it like that, bro. But you feel me? Uh, them no five camps that really inspire and get full. I, like I said, I've never talked to neither one of them five camps if it involved business. Yeah, I ain't hitting no nigga up for nothing. You feel me? Them niggas, I respect them. Niggas. All five of them. Uh, I ain't gonna say in which manner as far as the difference, but them are five people. George, yeah. X Stack, Sacramento Exclusives, uh Lil Freak and Buddy Camelot Felicia. Uh, mm-hmm. it's they energy that I, I'm attached to. Mm-hmm. And uh they got my energy, fool. Like you know, dead homies. I don't think nobody got my energy on dead homies, but they got my energy, yeah. bro. On dead homies, they got my energy. Reason oh. like that. Okay, so uh, six years ago when you had that first breeding, though, did you did you see this? Did you see did I you did it. you see I more than this? It. Was you was you right here where you at, nigga? No, what what did this. you see? I seen this. I seen, I seen this. I was willing for this. I was willing to do this, and uh, I took the sacrifices to get to this place. Even in like just a street aspect, like, like if Mike, I come Mike, from, Mike. I, I come from somewhere. I come from something. I come from something very strong. You feel me? So. I like even separating myself from what I'm usually to to get into this was just a, just a transition in itself. You feel me? So uh, I seen this or I wouldn't have did it. Yeah, I seen this for so. Uh, so what's good with what's what's up for the next six? The next six years, legendary. Okay. Dead homies, legendary. I'm talking about the best dogs in the world. Like no comparison. I'm talking about some like niggas got his camps are getting more money than what's mine. It's camps that. It's camps that have, you feel me, like more assets and maybe more network, you know. But like my energy full, like you can't, you can't, you can't compete with this. Mm-hmm. Dead homies, this shit come from ancestors. This shit come, this is legendary. Like how I feel about dogs and breeding dogs, I don't give a fuck if you got the best of the game or you ain't nowhere in the game. Like your energy is near mine. So mm-hmm. like, if you're in the best, like you feel me, like if you're in that one percent, yeah. And I feel like I still got more than you. Yeah. I feel, and nobody's feel like as hungry as me. Like, I'm the, like it's sick, bro. I'm like, this is my drug, bro. Like, this is my lane. So like, it's, it's so much to say, fool. But like, I'm not even like explaining it. Like, my camp then brought more dogs than any camp in the world, as far as my beliefs. Yeah. No camp in the world for my reconcile from what I know from what I've seen since I've been in the game has bought more dogs than my camp. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say the nigga bought more dogs, but I got a podcast with this nigga George Soto on it, nigga, that I can't drop right now. He's probably spent more. You know more what I mean? He probably hey, did. Hey, I know he hey, did. He probably hey, did. Hey, you know what I mean? No cap. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You know what I mean? No comparison. Yeah. No none of that. You yeah. know what I mean? But he needs to see this to know that uh, that needs to be put out there too. It's crazy, fool. And I got some football. You saying I for speaking on, bro? Speaking on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know you broke people. I'm yeah, that's the, the hey. There's nobody that could say nothing bad about this nigga. I just nigga did a me, breeding. You know I, mean? I just did a. I did a breeding, and I say that I got the hardest breeding in 2021. Now I'm a dog breeder. First off, let me tell you this: it's not. It wouldn't be beneficial for me to be biased towards, you know, what I'm saying this type of shit. I feel like it's two top breedings in the world. 
the whole world. It's only two breeds right now that's like old to me. It's a breed that Shaq X exclusive did. It's a three times Dizzy breeding that bred a Dizzy, they bred Dizzy Devil to Homicide Daughter. The mm -hmm. nigga that they got Dizzy Devil, Yang Kuz, is charging 14000 for the stuff. He Ooh. charged 7000 for the fucking Dizzy stuff credit. He charged 14000 for any time you double up. I, I don't even respect it, but I respect it at the same time. You feel yeah. me? He, and it's 2.0 to Victoria's Secret. The breed I did, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Them the two top breeds in the whole world. And you could watch them breedings. The puppies can come out. The puppies could be 10, 12, 13 weeks, and you still can't make a better breed on paper. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, just if you know about dogs. Yeah, you understand? yeah, yeah. So, uh, I feel like I arguably got the best breeding in 2021, and the year just started. You feel yeah. Me? I feel like I had that last year. I had one puppy. It is what it is. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, I feel like in the, I'm in the category of spitting the best. I have the best litter of 2021 besides, it's two breedings. The other breeding is a Dizzy Devil, three times Dizzy Level. My shit is. Now, you was working, working, nigga, 2020. Yes. You know what I mean? 2021 is still new. Right. You don't feel like you had no heat, nothing that was crazier than what you got right now in 2021. That's what you're saying. Yes, I body do. Not on paper. Okay. Not, not okay. even. I, 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 I don't even say on paper. I just say on paper. The shit okay. that makes sense. You yes. feel me? The shit that should click, period. The shit that's supposed to click, fool. So, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't spent a lot of money with George. Like, not crazy, man. I spent, we spent 30 with bro. Yeah. We spent, we didn't spend a lot of money with Extract. We spent yeah. a lot of money with Sack Exclusive. All the top, the, 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 the dogs that's best for me, you know what I'm saying? I spent money with them camps, you feel me? So when nigga tell it, like, like I got into it some shit with some Florida niggas, you feel me, recently. I, I, I support Florida as a whole. I love them niggas. I see what the Florida Martins had on right now. It's a lot of niggas in Florida that got my blood. But we had a best Merle conversation uh, recently. Uh, shout out, shout out, BWE Will, cause a super smooth nigga, cause a good dog breeder. Cause no, my, I'm cause a great dog breeder. Yeah. And uh, he mediated the conversation for me, but uh, shout out Fred Wari from Florida. But he had a dog named Twix and was in a conversation about who had the best murder in the world. I was hearing politics about the conversation. My dog was dead, so he couldn't defend himself. At that point, I decided to speak upon him. Uh, it's a funny conversation, you know, the dog yeah. game is player. You know, we get money, we black niggas, and we get money. And uh, the dog game is really based upon minorities. Get money, it, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the niggas is getting money in dog game is Chinese, blacks, and Mexicans. I don't even think of the niggas is getting money is my minority. So I, I I love everybody getting money, but me and me and Fred Wally had it. You know what I'm saying? We going back and forth. I ain't even going back and forth. Only reason I responded is because I feel like my dog. Yeah. Hold that thought though. Hold that thought. Tell the niggas on live. Hold on real quick. Yeah, Let's right, get it. Right, right, right. You know what I mean, I, I gotta man. get. I gotta get back into that Florida thing. You know what I mean, you was you was you was chiming in, but I had to, I had to stop it. I need that video coverage. Of that go ahead. First off, first off, I want to shout out BW uh, BW Will and uh, the nigga Fair Warrior. You know what I'm saying I like black niggas get money. I ain't no hater in me. But I make a long story short. The conversation started by me hearing niggas politicking about my dog. You feel me? My dog ain't here no more, so you know what I'm saying quite naturally, if my dog was alive, I wouldn't have responded to it. I'd have stacked the dogs off on me, and I'd have blew niggas out the water. Not blew niggas out of blue bro out the water that I was practicing on my dog. The dog not alive, so I had to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like I felt like Mad River is in its own lane. Not so much because he dead, but I feel like the dog is in his own lane. Not even so much. Cause I made them just cause I really respect dog breeding as a sport. And I'm gonna be honest, if if the best dog in whatever category it was, if it was mine or not, I'm gonna say it's the best. It's not it's not gonna help me get to what I want to do if I don't be honest. I feel like Mount River was our reasonable doubt, best member in the world. It was some politics with some East Coast niggas in Florida, South, whatever they call ourselves, uh, that you know what I'm saying, Fred, why were you saying that my dog wasn't the best dog and I don't even follow bro, you feel me? So it was niggas on cut comments when he was saying he got the best dog. It was niggas on cut comments saying like, no, my river was the best Merle. And yeah. he got he had like made like a laugh gesture, like, like my river ain't the best dog. Like, like he laughed about the dog, like he knew the dog was dead, but he laughed about like where my river at. Mm. I ain't really take too much kindness tonight. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know it's promotion, 
So I ain't even finna act like, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I know I, I, I know how that shit go, but I had to say somebody. And yeah. uh, I feel like I broke down the dog. And uh, I feel like my dog being the best in the world is different than the dog being the best in Florida. Now, if a dog was the best in Florida, it Talk can still him. be the best in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it don't matter where you at, you got yeah, the best yeah. dog in the world. Pacifically, California ain't been knocked off where it's at for long since it been where it's at. And as far as the mark category, I my dog, I felt like he was the best in the world. And I feel like if you was a true breeder, should not being biased towards business, yeah. you, would, you would say that. You yeah. feel me? And I judge dogs on what's the hardest to make. I ain't judging dogs on nothing else but oh, what's the hardest to make. You feel me? Like I when I, when I look at the dog, the harder the dog is to make. I look when I see the dog, the harder the dog looks to make, the more respect I give it. Yeah, 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 my, yeah. There's no dog in this world I ever seen that looks harder to make Amen, than my river. Yeah, respect, respect. Yes, sir. Yeah, but it takes. I mean, it takes. It takes a real nigga to be able to have them conversations. You know what I mean? Because they go bad all the time. Yes, so no, putting business to the side, putting all the bullshit to the side. You got to be able to respect the the breeding itself you know what i mean respect the dog itself and you knew you knew what your dog came with you knew what he had you know what i mean for so for him to be able to i'm not gonna speak on the conversation because i i, I heard it from the outside looking in you know right. what i mean i just I'm, I'm scrolling through just like other niggas are scrolling through but of course it was more personal because that was your boy that was your man that was you know what i mean son. that was him yeah, that was him I, I make a, period and i ain't even knocking the nigga that said he was better than her that he was better than Gus or not. I'm not even knocking how he got up at it or how he did it. Yeah. Everybody different. Every nigga gonna do shit different ways. So yeah. I ain't even knocking how he did it. It's just like, when you're speaking on West Mount Exotics, like, you gotta be ready for what that come with, fool. Yeah. I don't feel like no camp, too many camps can stack off with us as far as overall dogs and quality, fool. So when he said that, he just put himself on the radar. Right. Like, oh. Right, so right, right. Gonna, all that rapper money you got, you better go spend that shit. <laughs> man, shout out to Fred Rock, man. Tell Bro I said go spend that rapper money. And I don't even mean this on no cool, cool shit. Like, I'm a smooth nigga. You know that? I mean, just go spend some of that rapper money, go buy some dogs. Like, like, it don't matter. You could be a fucking bear in there. I'm a dog breeder. Yeah. I it's dogs. a difference. It's a difference. Yeah. You feel me? So, like, niggas need to respect that. That, like, you feel me? I got 50 dogs. I never posted on my bed. Mm -hmm. like, I got dogs. And, like, I, 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 West Mine is out as a camp. 17 19 niggas we all move like this like we all have my type of energy so like you you better know what you're talking about right like, you know yeah know what you're jumping into man rich i'm gonna uh i'll tell you like this nigga i appreciate you appreciate you coming in yes sir yes you know sir i mean? appreciate you having me opening that shit up you know what i mean talking to the world letting them know what it is because we need to do more of this you know what i mean the yes, only sir. way the the bully world the exotic world this dog world is gonna grow nigga, is by us us doing this us having these conversations you know right, what right, i mean right, right, right. and being two men being able to sit down and really just go back through the history of the shit because it's still so brand new that we writing history right now and as we speak exactly. you know what i mean we don't know what this is gonna do we've been sitting here having a two hour nigga conversation and it right. feel like motherfucking 15 minutes you feel me right, right, you know right. what i mean we done ran up all the goddamn batteries and nigga got in the house you feel me <laughs> on these little shits nigga keep it could keep going you know what i mean that's how we so do it. That's how we do on, it. on me Man, I need you to bring the Westmount family through. You know I what I mean? You, I got you, I got and uh, we just gonna sit niggas down and 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 get their peace. You know what I mean? Talk to everybody in the camp and you know just really give you guys the platform to be able to you know tell your story. You know what I mean? And that's what this whole shit is about because everybody from every point in the world got a story to tell. You know what I mean? And and we got to be able to do this shit the right way. Right, right. I'm saying, I'm saying, saying, saying that like. Yeah, like, I just want to let everybody know, like, if you're not in dogs, like, 110%, I suggest you get up out of it. If you're not ready to, if you're not ready to go in 110%, everybody know what that means. If a nigga ain't ready to go dive like that, a nigga should get up out of it. If a nigga should move around. Yeah. Get up out of it. It's not for you. It's not for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All the niggas that inspired me, I'm going to give niggas credit, you know what I'm saying, for giving me the energy that I got and the motherfuckers that I inspire. I'm saying I want to keep inspiring the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying because I got, I don't even know how many messages I got about me inspiring motherfuckers. More yeah. messages than I'm, more motherfuckers inspire me probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that I inspire, I, you know what I'm saying? I want to keep, tell them to keep crack, keep cracking, keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep floating gas. And like, like I said, like, this but nigga, is my You speak it, nigga, from a new generation. You know what I mean? Because the, the top five that you threw out there, they got a decade on you. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. And I'm on a helmet. And you on a helmet. I'm on a helmet. You know what I mean? So, so you that next, you, you runner up. You know what I mean? And you speaking for the new breed. You know what I mean? I arguably have the best or second best bulldog in the world right now. That's regardless if you like me or not. Period. Arguably, arguably genetics and physical looking wise, I have either the best or the second best on the bulldog planet. In the, in the planet. And as far as bullies go, I have arguably the sickest one of one of the sickest camps in the world. So it's like. Come in with it, nigga. Whoever breed dogs, bull, any breed, any bull breed dogs, like y'all gonna have to come with it, bro. Yeah. Like you don't have time to do nothing. If you yeah. rap, if you trap, if you sing, or if you fucking dance, you should quit your other option. It's, just it's over, dogs. nigga. You, you need to breed dogs, nigga. Yeah. That's it. You know what I mean? I'm done with this. You got BBM, TBC, Westmount. We in here, man. We appreciate y'all chiming in. It's your boy Anthony Smith, and I got my man Rich in here. That way, that way, that way. And we about this joint. That way. That's that way. Fuck with us, nigga. Real breeders only.